He has done a lot of things to me. So no, I don't regret calling him that word. Because any man, I don't care what skin color you are, any person who tries to steal your house and your home is a fucking murderer. Fucking four little fucking thug bitches. I love black people. Fucking thug bitches. I love black people. And they said something they didn't like, it was automatically that fucking nigger. I love black people. Black lives matter. I love black people. Black, black lives matter. I love black people. Well, these black lives matter. They did take a kneel peacefully. Yeah. And you didn't fucking listen to them. Fucking listen to them. Is there lingering racism in me? Maybe. I'm with Ice Cube. Yeah. I'm with Ice T. Yeah. I'm with Snoop Dogg. I love black people. Yeah. You want me to feel good about black people after being robbed? I love black people. Yeah. The fuck you are, f***er. It just came out. Because I'm not a racist, I love black people. Yeah. I'll be fucking racist all day long. Because I'm not a racist, I love black people. Yeah. But it's okay for them to call me a white nigger. Because I'm not a racist, I love black people. Yeah. They, 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 they think what they do, they can get away with because they're black. I love black people. Yeah. Go fuck yourselves, all of you. Because I'm not a racist, I love black people. Yeah. I don't owe you shit, nigger. Yes, you do. I love black people. Fucking suck, bitch. I love black people. Bitch. I love black people. And they said something they didn't like, it was automatically that fucking nigger. I love black people. Black lives matter. I love black people. Black, black, black lives matter. I love black people. Well, these black lives matter. They did take a kneel peacefully. Yeah. And you didn't fucking listen to them. Okay. Is there a lingering racism in me? Maybe. I'm a Niger. I'm a, I'm a Niger. I'm a Niger. Like a major Niger. You could derive what word I'm saying without saying it. White nigger. Call me a white nigger. I'm a Niger. I'm a, I'm a Niger. I'm a Niger. Like a major Niger. I'm part Nigerian, which is where we get the N-word. So does that give me clout in the community? <laughs> I'm just reporting facts, folks. That's all I'm doing. I'm like Alex Jones reporting facts. I'm a Niger. I'm a, I'm a Niger. I'm a Niger. Like a major Niger. Like when you accept Jesus, it changes your DNA. I believe that. What the fuck is so interesting about Michelle Obama? And what the fuck did she do in the White House that made her so great anyway? And is it because she's black? Is that the only greatness she has is she's black? And you want to try to be in the cool I'm, I'm not, not a racist, racist card, card game. game. I'm not a racist card game. Fire. I love that song. Hello, everyone. Hello. Um, there's a reason we're playing this video. Reason? Because that video that Mango and Ali Biss wanted us to react to is a little racially charged. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to show, show you how, how, how much uh, she loves black people. You know. <laughs> you know we'll see. We're going to see. We'll figure it out. Hold up. Hold up. Um, Shout out to Hussey and Vidal for making amends last night. <laughs> I had no clue that was on. And I'm sitting there watching, listening to Just Jill while I'm uh, cleaning up uh, the my office or whatever. And I'm like, what? Oh, and let me say this too for the for the idiots that would be like, oh, you're streaming on Father's Day. Yeah, because um, unlike everybody else, I don't like to do every single thing on the same day. I like to, I'll do it a day before. You know, because mm -hmm. um, there's less crowds. I ain't got to And I don't like being in crowded areas with a bunch of people, you know, that shit. So I do things maybe the day before. Plus, it's a Hallmark card holiday. But, I, I you know, I'll, I'll take the, all the well wishes. You know, like, Miss nobody. Good Happy Lord. Father's Hello. Day to everyone. Uh, all the yes. daddies. Oh, and all the mommies that have to take the, the daddies, you know, uh, do the daddy's <laughs> job because they're single mothers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know some. I know some of those red pill dudes that get mad when you. Like, I people oh. hate when you say that. Right. But yeah. It's true, and I extend that to like men who are single fathers, like all yeah. mothers did that they have to be both men and you know, like mother exactly. and father. Yep. So um, let's see. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on, and I'm probably still going to end up going doing something today later. So I was like, whatever. At the end of the day. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, thank you, Tank. 
Yes. Happy Father Day. Uh, let's say hi to everybody in chat real quick. There you go. This nobody was the first one. Uh, this nobody is cute. Uh, and then I came in there. I'm cute too. And then we got uh, 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 Mango. Mango's cute. Uh, hi, Mango. Uh, let me see. We got Spend Time in Attica. Hi, Who else? Uh, ooh, J9. Hey, J9. What was that? Dr. Dynamite Kid? Uh, I think that might be it. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Ashley Bennett. Hello. Ashley Bennett is cute. Um, uh, La Senorita. Hello. Uh, whoa, what the fuck kind of picture is that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is that Steve Harvey as Shrek and a, a child on him that, with his face? That's horrifying. Uh, melt in your mouth. <laughs> Archie. <laughs> Two guns. People through. We got danger. Um, oh, shit. Who's on the ground? Sorry, today it will not read. It's not reading because I'm using... um. I'm using StreamYard today because OBS, I updated it. So it's like one thing after my, my, my router dies, I get a new router. That's acting funky. I, I speed test, everything's fine. Then I go ahead and I throw up, a, I, I try to use OBS today. It's dropping frames. What the fuck is going on? You know what I'm saying? So I just decided to just do this today. So sorry, no voice. But you get to hear Nova read it. So go ahead and read it. The Shani send. P-A-C-P-S, a Father's Day card? Yes, you did. It probably like <laughs> clam chowder and poop, and poop tuna. tuna. Uh. I don't know what poop tuna is, but that is disgusting. That is oh, disgusting. you don't know what poop tuna is? No. Oh, God. No, it's... <laughs> I should, you know, where was I? I think I got lost. I don't tell me what that is later. Uh, I got damn you. it, I got lost. I don't know. Hi, everybody. Uh, thank you for all the happy Father's Day wishes. I can't go through all this. A lot of y'all in here now chatting, chatting on up, you know. But you know, y'all, y'all know what to do, right? Y'all know, hit that, hit that like button. <laughs> You thought ah, you thought I was gonna play the other one, right? Yeah, I really did. Uh huh. Mm, I faked you. I faked you. Nova. Show me your asshole. Anyway. <laughs> no. Oh shit. Damn it. Hotel parking? Anyway. <laughs> That's one of my favorites. Like. Anyways, we about to get to this, but you know, I wanna say I wanna say what, what's up to my niggas. Never forget Negs is a race. Oh shit, wrong one. Before you go, nigga, I am not your Oh girl. shit, wrong one. Damn it. What's up, my yucka? Anyway. <laughs> I fumbled that one. All right. So, <laughs> uh, before what we get beauty. in. That was a beautiful fumble. Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, oh, oh, don't forget. <laughs> That's the sound of somebody getting their ass whooped. Uh, anywho, you know, let's get into this. So, before we get into Shani talking about slavery, we're going to watch a couple other videos real quick. Uh, not too long. Remember everybody was talking about them being at the Ruth Chris Steakhouse? Yes. Mm -hmm. Got that video for you. Here we go. Yeah, this place is super high class, man. I know, and I'm like wearing all this like stuff. I know. Oh, uh -huh. super chat was happy Sunday to you. So happy Sunday, YouTube. Happy Much Sunday love. Thank you. YouTube, yeah, me. Yeah, you know, I've never, I've never seen all these uh, icons so big. Like you never really look at look at them, you know? Oh yeah, because you're usually on OBS. Yeah, I, there is a um, extinction, uh, extinction. Oh my god, extension! I can use uh, or or what is it called? I don't know what it's called. Anyways, there's an add-on. Yeah, there you go. There's an add-on I can put uh -huh. that pulls it up. But you know what, fucking um, you know what, fucking um, what is it called with fucking uh, OBS? Like, so there's a way you gotta like add it and all this other shit. And if you don't do it completely uh, correctly, it's not gonna pop up is weird i gotta test it oh yeah one of the um this guy there's a video essay guy that i'll be watching mm -hmm. he does streams and he uses obs and i noticed like on his last one he would have the comments pop up so, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. it's called chat ninja or something like that i have it mm -hmm. i just have to um i, I saw when to. i was setting up obs but i didn't know, you know. <laughs> Thank you for being a, a member doom, 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 doom. Mm -hmm. around. anyway sorry Thank you for being a member. Of Spit Time. The heart is true. You're a ball and a coffee. Bro, you, the shit you had to watch when you didn't have cable back in the day. You know? Right. Watching Golden Girls and Star Trek. <laughs> uh, you know what? I told 
you know, you know, we'll do it. No time. Anyway, don't let me not. Uh, can't say one, but happy Father's Day. Thank you, Poltergeist. And thank you to everybody else that I didn't that said it, and I may not have said thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But let's get into this lady dressing up like two gothies at um at a high end uh restaurant. Let's look at this shit. And and oh, we'll get into it later. Discover card. Can you fill me Sure, it's five. Right, good thing they bleeped that out. He probably doesn't even have that number anymore. Nine one. You got it. Okay. Thank you, LA Anime. Ooh, of LA. Oh, shit. LA VIP port. That's amazing. Come on. <laughs> That's what we'll be getting all night. That's awesome, man. It's LA, man. We were going to have a limo, but. A limo to go see corn. Why? Because <laughs> this is why they don't have any fucking money. This is exactly why. And who rents limos anymore? I don't know. People that don't have money, I guess. Oh. That hey. just fell through. It was not strange. Exactly. Five seven zero, yeah? Yeah. Nine two one. Alright. Oh he's dead. he's actually I saw a part of this on uh Mango. She's he's actually giving out his card number and he like says it right while he's streaming like a moron. So let's skip to uh 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 See, I bet your chin can <laughs> hold a teaspoon of mad talk. Wait, a tablespoon? Damn it. Oh shit, I'm sitting there trying to make myself feel better and I said a teaspoon. He said a tablespoon. <laughs> it's not that deep. Oh my god. It's pretty deep. Yeah. Oh. What? <laughs> See, I wasn't gonna play it, and I'm gonna play it. Show me your ass. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Who's on the ground? Now he's exposing how I can't read anything. Well, because the question you have PayPal set up, right? Yeah. Okay. Because the question was asked, if you're international, and you want to send me something, you can send it to BGTV. He'll send it to me. Yeah, yeah, that, I yeah, don't have that works. PayPal set up yet? Not for that. Yeah, that works. Yeah, if you if you send it to me, I'll send it to her on Cash App. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, Mine's in the, I think it's in the description. Mango or somebody can drop that in the chat. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yes, I do got the Billy disease. My, like I said, my problem is I read it too fast. That's the problem. If I slow myself down, I can fucking read it. Um, it's annoying. It's a problem that, you know, I never learned to stop. Hi, right, Steph. Hello. Hello, Steph. All right, let's get into this. <laughs> you oh, I hate her laugh. Yeah. <laughs> She's a terrible laugh. We're going to see corn. She sounds like Jabba the Hutt. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Tonight. <laughs> That's why we look like gothic freaks, you know? Gotta celebrate. What the fuck is that? Yo. <laughs> First off, okay, let's, let's just talk about this, right? First off, he's wearing a... He's wearing his own merchandise. There's nothing wrong oh, with that, that is, right? right? Yeah, because he's yeah, Revelation News. He's wearing a hat, but then he has like this weird black makeup, like lipstick that goes into a frown. I don't understand that. Uh, it has a bunch of crap around his neck. So I'm I'm assuming some of that's a cross or some other shit. Um, has a sleeveless shirt on. Like I don't understand. So well, bad. I guess a lot of what happened. It's a terrible look. Yeah, it's a terrible look, but. He has, I'm pretty sure he has eyeliner on and makeup on his eyes. But here's the thing Corn is not a goth band, right? It's oh, it just, isn't. It's, okay. No, it's, it's technically new metal, but it's like, it's like oh. more like modern metal music in a sense, you know? So it's like, and I'm not saying those guys don't, may not put makeup on. I'm pretty sure they do, but it's just like, when I think corn, I don't think of at least the lipstick. I don't think of black lipstick. Like, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Cool. Posers, is that what is that what they would be called? Yeah, exactly. Like this is what he's wearing. I mean, right? but also like even if like goth is your thing, like I, I mean, you know, goth is not my style, like in the least. Yeah. However, yeah. I've seen some people dress goth, and that should look fire. Yeah. Like, do you? Yeah, real, oh, like, yeah. Some stupid. of them goth girls too. You be like, oh lord. Yeah, I've seen some goth, like some people dress goth, and that shit looks dope. I'm like, mm -hmm. all right. Not my thing, but that shit looks hot. So it's like, yo, know, you can look better than this. This looks like shit. Yeah. They look like emo kids trying to be goth. That's what it mm. looks like. Mm -hmm. 
I flamed out oh, on yeah, Panel for his birthday. Yeah. Oh, you, you, I think I was sleeping man, when that happened. Um, <laughs> or no, or I was watching. Um, what, what what day was that? Friday. Yeah, Friday night. Yeah, shit. I was watching uh, that that Silo show. That's what I was watching. <laughs> and then, man, from watching that. Okay, I gotta go back and watch that. I saw him being. I think I did scroll through it, and he was like yelling at his brother, like "Get get your ass on here." Yeah, don't even be on panel with me. I'm like Jesus. He's so nice to him. It was fun. <laughs> like, let, me, let me tell you something, Yato. You are the reason people still use that word. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Who's on the ground? <laughs> I gotta watch it though. Yeah, I'm gonna get a lot of footage of them playing, like yeah. a ton of footage of them playing. Yeah, but I'll be okay. Sick. Enough, gonna... enough with the fucking. Let's get you all walking in. All right, so we got the, we about to see Shanny's fit. You ready? Mm-hmm. Here we go, folks. Oh no, is he a... this... oh, yeah. What is she? Off. Is that a cape? Yes. <laughs> like they put. <laughs> she put like. <laughs> What is this? That's fishnet. The yeah, she got a fishnet. Yeah, that's the biggest fishnet I've ever seen in my life. No, I'm just joking. But, like, <laughs> she got a fishnet on. Got um, scuba fishing in that. <laughs> oh, wait, hold up. That says a birthday. You 39. Lies. Lies if you look like that. Birthday. Lies. Lies. Uh, yeah, happy early birthday. Um, but, yeah, she has a cape on, pink fishnet. Her hair is pink, and it's, like, up in this, like, bun or whatever like ugh, this place is wow i would be embarrassed going to a place dressed yeah. like this <laughs> who's on the ground so he's 46 but he looks like he's 58 <laughs> no you don't yet <clears throat> uh, uh sam smith they do not um they do not have a channel they uh they've been away from the internet for quite a long time i'm very surprised at how long they've been away from the internet you know um mm. oh yeah that's true I heard nothing new from them in a little minute. Yeah, but they're they're still in the uncle's house. Um, they're still in the uncle's house uh, because we all know uh, our our uh, Draven called a welfare check on them. We all know how we feel about people doing IRL shit, mm-hmm. right? Um, I get it. If Shani or or Rev is on stream and screaming about deleting themselves or they're going to hurt one another calling the police that's a different story but if they just haven't been online leaving you the fuck alone not leaving the internet alone not what fucking with anybody all yeah time. yeah yeah you but you still but you call them like like you call the cops to go check them that's a little weird yeah, i didn't get that either uh, yeah oh he, he preemptive uh strike yeah <laughs> 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 yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have Adele join us one day. We're gonna watch some Shanny as we're gonna do. Oh, Anyways. Oh Shanny. Yeah, uh yeah, content careers, don't be calling like like I don't have no beef with the guy or nothing, but like you really bro, you really shouldn't be calling fuck and I know you watch me because all of a sudden you watching Cyrax getting evicted and shit. That was very odd. Um that you've never talked about Cyrax, but like literally that the day before I go streaming, you streaming it. But um but uh yeah, you shouldn't be calling the fucking police on on them if they're not doing anything. Leave them the fuck alone. If they're staying offline, good for them. Yeah, you know? can some of y'all just stop. Yeah. We all know it's a matter of time for they come back, but still, you know, this, if they're doing it now, leave them alone, you know? Yeah. Shanny or Rev will get that itch and then they'll be back on eventually. Mm-hmm. We know it. You know how the low cow cycle, you know. You know how Yeah, they always come back. And if and if they decide to not come back ever because for whatever reason, then maybe it's a good thing. Mm-hmm. Stop, you know, if if part of like if part of the critique is these people can't stay offline, they don't they don't you know um, prioritize their life you know the right way and whatever, and then they end up doing what you've been literally advising them to do one way or another, then let them do it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, exactly. Like, well, you still trying to pull them back just for content. I don't know that that's what he was doing, <laughs> but regardless. Hold up. Oh, shit. <laughs> it could be dead or out. Grasshopper. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. Um. But yeah, yeah. And like I said, uh, that's why, that's why, you know, once again, I, oh, and I'm a, I'm a one quick aside. I'm going to talk about this and then we'll move on. So I was watching Just Jill, right? It's Just Jill. And she was talking about that Colleen lady, right? 
And oh, yeah. she um, made a mention. She was like worrying about her numbers. I told her, I said, Jill, I said, don't worry about your numbers. Watch what you want. Okay. Have fun and people will come. Okay. I don't know how many times I have new people coming here in the comments telling me they like me and use banter. Because that's what I want. I just want to have a chat, have fun. I don't give a fuck about what's the new piece of drama, you know? Shit, maybe they will come back and I'm still talking about old stuff. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just want to have fun and have a chat. Like like the people, y'all, and I know it's a, it's an off day. I don't normally stream on this day. You know what I'm trying to say? Um, and it's Father's Day, too. So I wasn't expecting no big turnout. It's whatever. The ones of y'all here watching me, thank you for being here. We're going to have fun. We're going to talk. You know, you worry about it later. Plus, that's another thing with live stream. You always worried about the live views. I did a Cyrex. Remember that Cyrex stream that we did? Not last week, but the week before. I did yeah. a regular ass live Cyrex stream. We got done. I think maybe a day or like four or five days later. It's like it was like one point. It was at one point. It was like like fifteen hundred views or something. Right. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden that shit shot up. It's like, it's like five thousand. Like so you never know what's going to happen when you know. do a video, too. So nope. just have fun. You could be talking about that Colleen broad and this shit just take off. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. yep. I know you read that's too many words. I don't <laughs> I don't know <laughs> that that's what Rhett what can what? Okay, oh, now I don't now know Noah's fucking up. Can Rev catch or receive an STD other than Pinka? Uh, even though he just hits the fo- oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so you don't know if Rev can catch an STD other than Pinka, even if, even though he just hits the fold asking for a friend. Hashtag poop tuna. God damn it! Who's Disgusting. on the ground? Stop typing so fast. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's hard to read. <laughs> Thank you, Joda. And like I said, to everybody else that said if I missed you, think, think. All right, let's get back. We got to see the rest of Shani's fit. Oh, my God. Oh, my <laughs> God. Bro, but why, though? Like, <laughs> like, it, it's just a fish. Net. Like, I don't, I, and I, y'all know I love pink. I love pink. Like, I fucking love pink. And I like fish. Oh, I love, God. I usually like women in fish. Net, but not this. Yeah. One. Yeah, I, and I wonder what kind of like did she get it from like a lingerie store or? Uh. Yeah. What oh stores my god! That they use wow. From when you want it, when you're like a fisherman. Yeah, right. <laughs> I need those. But I need it pink, dyed pink. Yes, ma'am. for what? Don't worry about that, though. <laughs> I did not expect this. Hi, we have a yeah. Oh my God, she has shorts on. What the fuck? Hold on, I'm sorry, y'all. This is yeah. gonna become an analysis. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my this God. Dress. God. Wow. No, this is before it. Oh, before. I did not yeah, expect wait. this. Wait till she turns. What are you wearing? <laughs> what is this? Is those? Why do you have a cape on? She has a cape on. <laughs> black shorts. I think her boots mean? are like gray. Her her top is like a fishnet pink with like I guess some kind of other black shirt and it, like what are you wearing? Like it's like, such a, this is all kinds of wrong. It's just, she just put every fucking thing together that she could think of when she thought about right? it. Just wear all yeah. black. Like if you're gonna do the god, just wear all black. Like your I guess your hair could be whatever color, but I some women might actually even just dye their hair black getting ready for this. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, it, right. If you're just like, gonna do the, the god hair, thing. the her her hair looks so bad. That's that also doesn't help the situation. <laughs> but like they have like <laughs> clippings. I mean, even if she wanted to do the fish, she could have wore a wig, a regular shirt. Yeah, and then put the fish net underneath it. I don't get the cape. The cape could have gone. Like the cape doesn't need to be there at all. Like yeah. I don't get that at all. And what's with the gray boots? Like why you got gray boots on? You see that? Wait, oh, right that's gray. That oh. has to be. It's gonna be hard to catch it because he doesn't really. But I, I, that that her leg, that's definitely her leg going down. Got it's a like self tan or something for them legs, baby. Because they don't go outside, you know that. <laughs> yeah. That's a little bit. Uh, Jason. We all God, know his last name, y'all. Beautiful. Oh, wow. Thank you. So nice. Did you expect it to be? <laughs> no, I did not. I thought it would be like corn. You're going to go to Ruth Chris and think everybody in there is going to be dressed like they're going to a corn concert. concert? <laughs> Weirdo. I thought it would be like gothic. You said, like, why would it be gothic, moron? 
This is hugely high class. I shouldn't be wearing this. Here. Oh God! Is that, well, <laughs> yeah. Thank you for two dollars boot uh, matching me curtain. Yeah, that's disgusting. Thank oh, you for that. Somebody says she can't wear so tan and makes her orange. Really? Damn. What I you mean? So oh. Tan. I so oh, really? <laughs> well, you don't want to look like the 45th president of the United States? Shame on you. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're going to corn, though. Yeah, to look the part for corn, you know? I just pulled that up for the name Shanny's Titty Warts. <laughs> Shanny, something wrong with that kid. Shanny, her head don't work in every day. Shanny, you better not cross her path because she's a Delta 8 chain smoking sociopath. Oh, somebody's mm. trying to match my 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 Shanny uh, music skills, man. Uh -huh. I, I did Shanny. Are you okay? I know everybody. That's like one of the bad for me. That's one of my favorite Michael Jackson songs, Smooth Criminal. I knew everybody would be singing that shit. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> what I mean, it's absolutely, sir. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, yeah. Don't worry. Thank you. I appreciate uh, you it. Will take your hat off the absolutely, of course. The That's of course the case. Yeah. There's no doubt about that. I'm surprised they let them in. Like, if you can't have your hat on, but you can be dressed like two fucking clowns, like, I don't get that. Like, I thought places like that had dress codes and shit. Like, but then again, I mean, most people, yeah. most people are gonna go there and, you know. All right, awesome. This is beautiful. Wow. Yeah. Oh, she has she has fish she has fishnets on her legs too. No, does she? Like, Absolutely. Hold on, yeah, I'll try to catch her. Hold on. That's of course the case, yeah. I'm, I'm, no I'm kind of observing. Let me see. I'm trying to, I'm right, trying awesome. to catch it. This Hold is on. beautiful. Yep. <laughs> oh, she has black fish net on her legs. <laughs> is that a hole? Like, what the hell are those boots? Yeah, it is a hole. How are you going to wear fish nets with a hole in it? <laughs> it's a, she's trying to stretch them over her ass. It wasn't I working. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> This it is fine. It's the look. It's fine. It's, yeah, it's that cape God. is retarded, oh man. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, that cape is unfortunate. But look, yeah, gray shoes. What the fuck? Wow. Your whole outfit is just weird, bro. It don't matter. We have found the place. Wow. I think Miss Ruth Crispy oh, turning in her fucking grave right now. You let those people in? <laughs> <laughs> have a nice well, look, family that's there, why it's empty. <laughs> Can you imagine the people eating, seeing these two? <laughs> Wow. I would have put them on the other side of the restaurant, you know, like keep them away from uh, normal people. <laughs> Next to the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They wouldn't oh notice it. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate it. Oh, oh my God. This is so fancy, man. I know. You don't belong here. No, this is like way too bougie. The only true know. thing she's ever said. We don't right. belong here. Yeah. Wow. You gonna sit Whoa. down anytime? Jesus Christ. <laughs> not only uh, here's it, not only is this, this weird couple there, he's recording everything too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Once yeah, again, that too. Mm -hmm. said, I've, we've said this a bunch of times. When you're in a private, you, I, I'm, I'm assuming they could maybe, I don't know if it's in his pocket. Well, he doesn't have, he has a sleep. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he, I don't know, maybe they think he's talking to someone. I, I would, I'm surprised they didn't tell him, like, nah, you can't record in here while you. Yeah, I'm surprised you know I mean? too. Um, I mean, I guess maybe not all the time do people expect that people are recording because, like, mm -hmm. if they come in after an event or whatever, sometimes it's just for their own memories. So maybe that's. Oh, you there. might think she's just recording normal. Yeah, because yeah, you don't really I, know unless you have a camera. You know what I mean? If you have yeah. your phone, then who knows? I don't think he's streaming, though. He's just, I think he's just, he, I think he recorded his name. Video. Yeah, and put yeah. it up later. Yeah. A wine glass, folks. I can't oh shit! That. Really? A wine glass. Oh shit! Attic. A fancy. Oh. This is a wine glass. Chef's features. Look at, look at the VIP lanyards. <laughs> wine pairing selections. Soup. Hey, not bad. How about you? Oh, BGT. really good. What was that real quick? Oh, huh, okay. Uh, Unprotected Lex sent a membership message. Eh, being a member for nine months, 
BGTV's chin dimple is deeper than his voice, she said. Thank you, thank you, thank you. are going to stop attacking my chin, God damn it. <laughs> oh, and Auntie M sent a, mes- a member's message. She's been a member for four months. Uh, hello. What's up, Auntie M? Hey, Auntie M. Y'all going to stop attacking my chin, man. <laughs> stop blocking everybody. <laughs> Damn it. Thank you, though. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> she, got <laughs> blue cheese. she got her own. Ugh. Look, y'all, BGTV is on StreamYard, so he cannot see the members' message, so I'll just look for it. You know, if I see it, I'll let you know. Okay, thank you. Mm-hmm. It's the classiest restaurant I've been in in a long time. God, Blue Waffle. <laughs> a long time. Okay, thank you so much. Petite filet with truffle hey, crust, wait. black and scallop. Have you ever seen a blue waffle? No. <laughs> don't don't look it up. <laughs> Whoops. Blue waffle. Crust yeah, don't look it up. Don't I? No, no, I'm serious. Never look that up. I looked it up one time. And I was horrified. You 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 do the appetizers, you know. Say <laughs> no. What happened? People are saying no in the chat not to look it up. <laughs> yeah, don't. Don't. It's disgusting. This is why you get it. It's, it's hard, though. It's hard getting past the itchiness. Every time I try and it starts getting, the hair starts getting long, and then I'm like, something like one day it's just like super itchy. I'm just like, fuck it. And I just go home and shave this shit off. Thank you, Steph, uh, for the five pounds. I can't do it. All right. Fuck it. Let's see. Um. Okay. Cause this, they just kind of meander about the food and the prices, but um, here we go. So, yeah, I see. showed you the place, folks. <laughs> oh he has God. some kind of glove on <laughs> too. <laughs> is like a fingerless gloves or some shit. Like uh, yeah, that? you know he has yeah, fingerless of gloves he on. Does, of course. Everybody's like two degrees from Cyrax. I swear. <laughs> His fingerless gloves. Oh, he needs, oh, he needs that skull. The the skeleton uh, jewelry on the back of his hand. Yes. Remember? When he was sitting, he was sitting there like this. <laughs> yes. That was the best. Oh, my God. Yeah, that Cyrus is killing me, man. So, there it is. It's like a, it's like a, it almost looks like a sock that he cut holes in and put his hands through it. What are you wearing, dude? None of that is metal. None of that. Damn, you could have got like, he could have got, he could have had like, like, I got these earrings, like the spiky earrings I like to wear. He could have had some of that. Some like, you know, the little, um, the little, uh, uh, like the wristbands with spikes on them and shit. You know what I'm saying? Could have yeah, some shit like that. do it and, and be, you know, I hate to say age appropriate because I don't know that it's necessary. Well, yeah, like there's a way to do it when you're young. Fine, it's fine looking like you just walked out a hot topic or some shit like that. When you're yeah. older, then there's a way to do it and still look good, you know? Uh huh. Oh, like there goes some of the food. Person. Oh my God. What is that? Clams Casino? That, uh, I'm thinking that's like some kind of like iced, it looks like lobster yeah, tails yeah, yeah. and oh, shrimp. Okay. That does look good. That's out of hand. They didn't get that with an EBT card. Cocktail right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I gotta work on censoring. I gotta work on censoring that video and see if I can get it up. Yeah. Sriracha. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. that no, that's cool. Good. That's George, our server, the good man. Thank you. Absolutely. We have YouTube channels. We're both YouTubers. Oh, you are. Really? Yeah. Really? Yes. Really? Uh, before you leave, I'll have to get your. Uh... I love that. Oh, you are. I mean, really. Uh, before you leave, I'm gonna have to like change the subject. Like, nigga, I don't want to hear about your fucking YouTube channel. Get the fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Like, just give me a tip, please. Y'all smell, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Probably upset. Your name, man. Absolutely. Yeah, it's on the back there, Revelation News. Revelation News. Oh, yes. okay, he's asking for and the channel, for like, like he cares. Yes. Okay, I'll have to write that down at the end or I'll forget it. Awesome, Hello, George. Everyone. Thank you. <laughs> What's up, George? Enjoy. Okay. Enjoy the appetizers. I'll be back around in a few minutes. Thank you, my brother. Absolutely. So this place is amazing. Yeah. Could you imagine so you that? Go. You got your seafood, folks. Okay. You know that motherfucker went back there was talking shit about my old stinky motherfuckers, man. You see mm-hmm. this guy dressed look like a clown. <laughs> Why I gotta get that? Why you put this person in my section? I hope they <laughs> right. tipped him. I hope they tipped him. Yeah, hopefully they did. Hopefully they were feeling generous. 
Yeah, you know, I'm gonna speed these little motherfuckers. There you go. Hey, I'm gonna eat. It's better for the truth. Yeah. Y'all yeah, done told him to keep that lobster head. I don't want that shit on my plate. That's the aftermath, folks. He's Ugh. not having a good day. And that's a seared ahi tuna. It's just so Guys, look at look at that. Thank you so much. Remember how he was talking that he doesn't like meat? Remember that? Look at this. Look at all this meat. Uh -huh. it lobster meat. A fish. I'm I'm assuming that's some kind of steak. Much brother. Thank you. Oh I ain't gonna lie, it does look good though. Look at the potatoes, folks. They glisten. You see that? They glisten. It's called butter, motherfucker. Like, like look at the potatoes. Look at this. Oh. Oh wow. I mean, you can cook this at your house. It's not that hard, you know. You want to talk about bougie folks? Yeah. Yeah. Got a street preacher over there, folks. Yeah, he's, you know what? I almost made an alcoholic joke because that camera is shaking too much, but I'll take it back. Uh, ordered that so people don't notice her. <laughs> <laughs> What's the oldest cheese you guys have around? Like, ugh. Hold on, let me see if we can see this, these guys walk. Oh, they're just talking to some random dude in the street. Oh, yeah, okay. We get to see him walking here again. So now they're going into, you know, the, the, the actual concert. Yeah. We're at the Pepsi Center now. It's like, it's, 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 it's. All right, let me slow it down because now he's 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 turning. He's getting into a giggle fit and you can't see shit. And the place is really big. Oh, Look, it's just normal ass people walking around, you know? <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's really and, and these two dressed like fucking clowns. Yeah, I'd be embarrassed. I'd be embarrassed. Crazy, you know? We're like right at the stage. I know. <laughs> Look, see, dude has just <laughs> black sneakers, black shorts, a Metallica shirt. That's mainly what you see, with, like metalheads, you know. Like mm -hmm. that, that's about it. Like you know, maybe some some different type of jewelry, some tattoos. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You see a lot of people in like plaid skirts and stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> you see a lot of because it's Jonathan Davis with his kilt. You know what I mean? Jonathan Davis with his fucking <laughs> kilt. <laughs> You know, we've all been there. You're walking, and some guy is just running his fucking mouth. He's like, oh my God, <laughs> you know, like, shut God, up, shut man. The fuck up, idiot. I wonder if he still plays the bagpipes. <laughs> Do you think Jonathan Davis still plays the bagpipes? Because I know that he has hard time breathing. You know, Yo, how does he have a hard time breathing if he's a fucking singer of a band? <laughs> he's the lead singer. He's playing a bagpipe. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. I have no clue what the fuck he's talking about. You know, you know what I mean? That fucking voice. It I love how that just ended all of a sudden. <laughs> oh shit! What video Shabby is this? for Christ, our Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think we might get to see Shaniqua in this one. Here we go. Oh, no. I've been just having sandwiches. This is drag. You listen to me as girlfriend to girlfriend. This is as normal you'll ever see Shani looking. Too. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, so she's talking to Drag's wife about. Uh, don't, as you can see, Mrs. Drag, don't be cooking him no grits. So I'm thinking she might get into her, her black scent here. So oh no, let's okay. see, let's see. Cause we girlfriends, okay. And um, so anyway, don't be cooking your man no grits. Don't be making him make you some grits, okay? Okay, if your <laughs> man wants some grits. His little lazy ass can make grits for him. You don't need to be making grits for him. You don't need to make you to do anything because you are the one who be working. You see it? You see it? Oh, the the head is it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are the one who be working. Okay. So yeah. <laughs> and then she got the neck. She just moving her neck. Yeah. And shit. <laughs> okay. Oh, this was these. These are very appropriate videos for this. I just wanted to show you the Chris one, but this one, then we'll get. I mean, I think we got one more. I don't feel watch the whole thing of this one coming up, but we'll definitely watch um, the next ones where she's talking about slavery and all this shit. But here we go. You're the one who be working off your pants. You be working. You're the one who be doing everything you can, trying to keep the household together, while that man be sitting there doing absolutely nothing. Be sitting, oh, yeah. be sitting there. Don't be work. Don't you do no working. You see. Uh, oh yeah, you you're Aussie, right? Yeah. What's up, BGTV? Is 
three thirty seven a.m. where I am, but I have this donut and oh no, but have this donut. Ah, good and good night. Well, you good night. Good Make night. sure you watch it later. I can't read a word. It's Noah's fault. She's taking away my uh my my literacy. I can't read. I don't even know if that's the right word to use. I'm talking about reading, but whatever. Thank you. <laughs> I can't stand a man who does nothing for his wife and expects and thinks he's entitled to do what he wants, some grits. Oh, I'm going to make you cook me some grits, bitch. Make your own fucking grits. You're probably too lazy to even handle to make grits anyway. You can't do the stirring. Okay, so I, uh, here's the th- I mean, I'm not going to sit here and act like I know, no, 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 these two people. You know what I'm saying? But I've, I've talked... I've talked to both of them behind the scenes. And this that shit is a joke. All that shit that he does on stream when he tells, oh, go cook me this, or go cook me that. He's joking. Oh. You know what I'm saying? It's a joke. But he uh, he sits there. He'll do that stuff. Well, he used to when he used to do streams. He, had, or he might talk to her a little crazy or something while they were streaming. You know what I'm saying? But it's, he's just joking. It's, you know, mm-hmm. that's all it is. It's all a And then, you know, Shannon and these other people, they'll take that. Sh- to- they'll just take that shit and run with it like it's true. You know? Yeah. But the funny part yeah. is how how her whole y- y'all see the way she talk. One minute she's like, "What's going on, man, oh, bro?" Yeah, no. mm-hmm. Now, don't yeah. you be doing all this? Don't you be cooking? Yep, neck rolling, everything. Neck rolling, that's what it's called. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Oh, but BGT couldn't read before Nova. So, oh, shut up, shut up, Yami Jackie. <laughs> get out, get out, get <laughs> out. You know what, Yami? Show me your asshole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who else made fun of me now? Uh, uh, you know who's on the ground? Show me your asshole. Anyways, let's go. It'll cause you sweat too much, <laughs> wouldn't it? Wouldn't it drag, right? So don't be making him no grits. He don't even deserve grits, okay? You put, you take the grits and your pussy and you put them on hold and you say, you ain't getting no grits? No, baby, please, no. No, not the grits and the pussy. Okay, oh, Lord Jesus, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? She took away the grits and the pussy? I'm pretty sure he'd be mad about the latter. You know what I'm oh, saying? Right. Fuck, I cook my own damn grits. Yeah, I agree. yeah exactly. <laughs> Shit, I don't even like grits. Man. But, yeah, yeah, I'd be mad, too. What you mean? Don't you? Don't you be cooking no grits. Like, don't you know, take grits and your pussy and leave. Like, what? It's, and you ain't getting no pussy until you stop this bullshit. This bullshit. And you put your foot down and you don't give him no pussy and you give him no grits until he stops his bullshit. Shannon about to say. What's up? What's up, <laughs> And then you're going to be happy. <laughs> and then you're going to leave him and you're going to come to me. And you're gonna join Shanny's little harem, and then we're gonna go to California. We're gonna go kidnap Jackie from Kevin, and they're gonna be part of Shanny's harem too. And, and and trust me, this girl, we got some money here, okay? We don't need to be working. We don't need to be working anymore for those lazy ass men, okay? That ain't got no money. They still ain't working, so. All right, <laughs> we don't need to be working no more. Don't we don't need to be working. Zook Nation became a ninja. Oh shit! Ninja yeah. Training. Hey, if you guys, oh, is that the one that's misspelled? <laughs> is it? Mm-hmm. One of them is. Yes, 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 it is. <laughs> it, is. <laughs> it won't let me fix it. You know, somebody tried to insult me in the comments about that, and I was just like, "Yeah, I misspelled it, but it, I, I promise you, it won't let me." I've tried to fix it. I've even tried to change no, the name of the tier. You have to change the whole tier and all that. Oh, yeah. You have really? to cancel or something. Yeah, it's something like that. Like it, it's, it's not weird. easy to do. It's not easy to do. And I think you might have to even like remove the tear to be able to fix it. Like you can't just edit it. I don't think. So. Yeah, and it's too, it's too much. Of, see, that's too much of a yeah, headache. I'll just leave the miss. Yeah, fuck it. Thank you for becoming a member, uh, uh, Zook Nation. Thank you, thank you. Um, anyways, uh, anyways, uh, I, I like uh, Zook Nation. Mac, shut. What's up, man? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I totally like. I typed that shit out, and now I got Grammarly on my shit too. Now, so when it when it fucks up, uh, mm-hmm. it'll tell me and and stuff. And I and I try to read things before I hit send. Now, you know, I uh, still fuck up all the time. But um, yeah, that one, yeah, I didn't, and I just whatever. I can't spell whatever. We could be just sitting here 
and playing with our nails and doing our hair together and being wonderful girlfriends. And uh, we don't need, need, need no men telling us to do what they think that we need to do. Uh-uh, girls. We got money here. Uh-uh, girl. And you she better not. If she mine. snaps, I'm done. And we're going to love each other forever. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Mm-hmm. So don't be making him no grits. He don't need no grits. His face looks like there's a bunch of grits all over it. Go shave. Shit. Don't you know that hurts a woman when she, you, she kissing on you? When she, when she kissing oh, on you. Right. Oh, did she watch a Tyler Perry movie before this? I don't know. Yeah, like she was <laughs> watching Medea. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, she, here's the thing. Some women... Some women like beards on it on against their face. Yeah. I mean, if you're taking care of your 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 hair, it should be yeah. soft. You know, it shouldn't be yeah. coarse. It, it can you can soften the hair on your on your chin. Now, when it's growing in, like I got stubble right now, that shit pokes. You know, yeah. And this is starting does. to get long, but like when it's first coming out, yeah, that shit. You get like I I I know my shit be so raw, I can scratch myself. Like my arms, it's like you know, I rub it across oh, my face. Yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, now, but like yeah, if I grew it, I would. It would it, if you take care of it, it'll get soft. So, shit, dude, feels like a Brillo pad on your face. That shows you who Go you shave with. and take a shower. Wait, is he black? Wait, That's why he has a Brillo pad. Hold exactly, up, right? Exactly. Who will she tell somebody to take a shower? Yeah, all right. You, <laughs> come on. God. Don't make me call my niggas. You know what I'm saying, like. <laughs> Shame your stinky ass and talking about telling somebody to want, take a bath. The fuck? <laughs> oh, you want to play that? No, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to just do it at a random time. <laughs> and learn how to be a man. Be respectful to your wife, at least. <laughs> Shit. Meanwhile, in the Shani household, she's beating Rev. Like, what? <laughs> 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 I, I don't think there's anything more disrespectful than putting your hands on your partner. You me know what too. I'm saying? Yeah, I like, agree. Once you put your hands on me, I'm, I'm gone. Like there's no. Yeah, you, don't, you don't run in the room and say right before Christmas, bitch, and then slap him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 and and then while he's on the floor sh- shivering, like uh, you like. Oh shit! Didn't go. Damn it! Suck a dick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> my blackness is insulted by <laughs> my blindness just died. <laughs> Yo, shriveled up, right, Miss Moody? Yeah, right. Yeah, thank you, Miss Moody, for one ninety. Yeah, Shanny's gross, and this is probably the cleanest, skinniest Shanny I've ever seen right here. Yeah, it's the it's the, the cleanest, skinniest one I've ever seen. That's yeah, cool. yeah, she looks normal for Shanny, and she doesn't even have as many warts. She just got this one on her forehead. Oh shit, my thing. She just don't has this one. So. No grits. Don't be cooking no grits. <laughs> I love your wife, and she gonna be mine. I'm gonna take yeah. your wife from you, and what are you gonna do? You ain't gonna do shit. You're just gonna be sitting up there talking about your love for G-Man, Ronnie, and Tommy. Mm-mm-mm. You got a little Oreo going on with them too. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <What? laughs> oh, he- she said, what she said, G Man, Ronnie, Ronnie, and Tommy. And Tommy. Oh, so if I'm correct, Drag is black, Tommy was white, and um oh, Ronnie was like Native American or Hispanic or, or a mix of the two. So she said you got an Oreo going there. So she's talking about people's skin colors right. there. Yeah. So yeah, go on. continue, Shani. You got the white people. You got the natives. See? You, got, <laughs> you got the black. All you need is a tr- uh, Asian, which is probably thick shades. But you ain't going after him because he's going after G-Man, which your enemy and, you know, his enemy makes you friends. <laughs> that sort of thing. But, but. See, Red Shot. See, Red Shot. A lot of people don't. Red, don't, Red Shot have been around, especially in this Shani oh. uh Universal yeah. for a longer, yeah, yeah. He's talking about, yeah. Uh, what's his name? Tommy. I forgot his name, but yeah, it's Tommy something. Yeah, he uh he owns like a landscaping business or something, and he's a racist. Talks about the the lot the people that work oh, for really? him, like dogs. Yeah, mm, mm. bunch of love, a bunch of people like this just on the internet, just lovely people, you know. Yeah, I love him. Yep, yep, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker say the wrong, wrong shit. <laughs> 
I'll see you later, brother. Before you go, nigga, I am not your brother. <laughs> Good night, Zoo. Good, good night, Zoo Nation. <laughs> Rest well. Listen, Miss Drag. Don't be making your man. Oh, Tommy rich. Hall. That's his name. Tommy Hall. Thank you. Uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, the Angry Roach, another one. You know, been a minute around for that for a minute. Yeah, Tommy Hall was his name. He don't deserve it. He deserves to kiss your feet. He deserves to massage your feet. He he, he deserves to give you time. He he needs to he needs to be a man. He needs, he needs to take you out on dates. He needs to stop this bullshit on this internet and he needs to treat you like a queen, honey. He needs to treat you like a queen. Tell you how beautiful you are. Make you feel good about who you are. You don't need to make a man make you feel bad for saying, hey, are you on this bullshit again? No, you go and tell your man he's an asshole because every man needs a woman to tell him that he's an asshole when he's an asshole. It's true God because man. men don't know when they're being assholes. Look, Shani. Once again, they were they were fucking joking. They're not like you and Rev, where they argue on live. You know what I'm saying? If you see, if you see, I guarantee you all. No, 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 no. I guarantee. Excuse me. All that shit that was going, I know for a fact is him joking. If they had a problem, that shit was dealt with off camera because he's not stupid mm. like y'all. Like normal people don't argue live on camera. Like it just doesn't happen. <laughs> and both you know? barge into bathrooms while the other person's trying to stream. And yeah. All shit out on, on spit camera. on each other and all that wild shit. Right. Like, come on, mm-hmm. crazy. For some reason, suck my nipple. Us women, when we're bitches, we admit we're bitches, and we're like, "Yeah, I'm a bitch." You have a problem with that? I'm a bitch. Anyway, That's just don't you. be making him no grits, <laughs> honey. Don't be making him no grits. And uh, oh. just remember, sweetheart, me and Ew. you will always be soulmates. What? I always love you. It's a death kiss. I feel I feel crazy <laughs> assaulted. Like do, uh, yo, between this and then the other well, day. I hit the wrong one. Oh. I meant to I meant to do this when she did that. <laughs> That's what I meant to do. <laughs> between this, the other day Miss Parker was playing uh this dude, uh Bravo. And that I think Bravo. About he's the ambrosia shit. Oh, uh, that Man, was I gross too. She has that saved. Yes, yeah, she has it. I need that video. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so let me let's talk about that real quick. Uh oh, what screenshot that? Okay, I can screenshot. Give me one second. That's a good one. Um. Uh, Nick. Bra- so Nick Bravo was talk oh. that stream when he talked about ambrosia. He supposedly has sex, but then when right. if you looked at the 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 Facebook messages with um. Sabella, Sabella said that she he's not a virgin anymore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so that's why I was like, he ain't get no, he ain't get no pussy, cause he's saying that he got some pussy or some chick that was at. I th- either he bought a hooker. Oh, and she's, I'm gonna have to tell you the theory that we came up with later on. Wait, uh, <laughs> for the love rainbow, stop the video. <laughs> We're almost done, actually. Go ahead, tell me the theory. Tell me the theory real quick. That that's the person he's talking about, Sabella. And then really? That's the theory, yes. But wasn't that months ago? Yeah. And then all but of she a was sudden, with Bruce. Was, he, but Bruce yeah, wouldn't let her out, out, out of her sight. Miss Parker can explain it better, but but I'll, I'll explain it later. But yeah, supposedly... They don't live in the same the state. Timing, the timing... Uh, I'll, I'll explain it later. But oh, or maybe the they did like a video himself. thing and he, and he considers that Ambrose. No, no. Supposedly she had ran off or some shit like that at some point. Okay, I need to hear I, that. I, or maybe yeah, I'll just watch I the was, stream, I guess. Yeah, it was. Oh, Because you know, I'm like new to that whole universe or whatever, but it mm. was a. Uh, the timing sort of lines up. Okay. All right, well. Hold on. Which Why is it doing that? Give me one second. It's one of my pro. Oh, okay. I just need to click on that. Fight this male oppressive society. Okay, I thought she was doing was Black Power, man. By these. <laughs> Greedy males who think that women have to be slaves Black for power. men. We aren't supposed to be making grits for men. They're supposed to be. Ma- Look, if you love your partner, you cook something for him. Who cares? I cook. I cook. Yeah. Actually, I cook dinner all the time. My wife like prefers me to cook. I enjoy cooking. I like cooking. I like 
making steak and chicken and spaghetti and all that stuff. I enjoy doing that stuff, you know, because I know how I, how I want my food to taste, you know. And yeah. she has dishes. She like she likes to make breakfast more more than anything. So she she makes breakfast, and then I'll make the dinner or whatever. And then she has her little specialty di- meals she can make. But she my wife's too impatient. Like that woman could burn water. You know what I'm saying? Like one time she left a a, a, a pot on too long, and and she's like get mad at me why you ain't checking I'm like you was boiling water like <laughs> like put a timer on your phone and then go check it in like five or ten minutes you know so I do the cooking like like I, I don't tell anybody to go do it to, to make anything for me but I mean geez you take I hate when these cows take a joke someone made and like freak out you know that's exactly yeah. what she's doing making grits for us and kissing our feet and making oh, us okay okay how uh how do you like your steaks? Um, I like a medium. I don't like a, I, I can eat a medium rare, but I prefer the medium because I do not really like. I don't like to have a steak on my plate and that blood is like seeping into other things. It's not blood. It's it's something else. I forgot what it's called, but I don't like that like leaking into my rice and shit. I just don't like it. So I like it pink inside, but I don't want it to be to be bleeding. I don't really like that. But I can still eat it. I have eaten steaks like that, but I prefer a steak connoisseur. Oh, I love steak. That you every time to explain how to cook a steak to me, and I was like, "Man, I I, I got half of what you said because you're very detailed with how you choose your it's, steak all the way." Oh, you mean how you get a good one? Yeah, exactly. it's simple. It's simple. You ever seen a mar- you ever seen a marble table like a white marble table got the little black lines yeah. in it? You look for a steak like that that has the little fat lines in it, the little white lines in the in the steak. You see the little fat veins in it. It's gonna be a good steak. And then, uh, and then like you just however you want to season it, heat it up in a pan. Make sure you cook it on both sides for you know for a little bit. Would you like yours well done or how you like it? Uh, steak medium, not medium well, like medium. Just medium, yeah. Okay, so you, you know, cook it as much on the, on the sides. As you want, because I like them to be a little tiny burnt on the top. And it also depends on how thick you get it, too. And then I just put it in the oven for like six minutes and shit. And then it's, it's good to eat after that. It tastes real good, you know? But yeah, just find the steaks with the little white lines in it. It's just cook it all the way down because that's how we, you know, like that's how, I don't know, that's how I learned growing up. Like you can get the steak and you just cook mm-hmm. that bitch until it's like shredding pretty much. But I've never uh, cooked it really on like a, uh, like on a grill or whatever, mm-hmm. but I do like yeah. it that way. I just don't cook it that way. So I'll be trying to learn. So I'm gonna try yeah. your way, and I'm gonna and and uh I'm yeah. Gonna, well, we'll talk about it later. I'll tell you like the whole thing I do. Time for y'all to see. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you how <laughs> how I do it later. But but yeah, my my mom, like I said, my mom cook. My mom could cook. You know how your moms can cook. And I remember yeah. she came in. I made some steak. She's like. God damn! I was like, yeah. I was like, I just read it on the internet. <laughs> Anyways, let's knock this out. But yeah, I like steak. Steak is delicious. Queen sweeties. Oh, and I get mad when I go to a place and they don't cook my fucking steak right. Like, how you want your burger? Medium. And then I bite into it and it's not. It's cooked all under. And I'm like, does this look medium to you? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I say, like no. if you go to a restaurant, you got to order it a temperature down from what you like it. So if you like medium, then order it medium rare because they always gonna overcook it a little bit, so then you mm. get the medium. So if you want a medium rare, then you order it rare, so that you'll actually get medium rare, something like that. Then I go to the right, wrong place where they actually do and what you want. It's, just, you what it's you bleeding. Want. I'm like, not gonna be mad at myself. You know? <laughs> no, but no, you're right. I, next time I'll do that at that burger yeah. place. That burger place, I'm I'm thinking of. It's good. The food is good, but they fucking they over, they overcook a burger yeah. like that. Some, Remember yeah. that. Don't be making him no grits. Don't be making and him drag. no grits. Your balls are now in my hands. Congratulations. <laughs> Your wife is mine. So you just oh, kissed his balls. Hi. Right? <laughs> Look at this site. Holy okay, shit. so I'm not really I'm not really gonna watch this whole video. I have no clue what it's about. But all I know is it says gross morning and you, you can see her hair, right? Like she has not because as far as I know, Shane, she's never tried to dread her hair. So she's obviously just not been taking a bath. Yeah, look. In my- 
Ooh. A banana spray. It's My expensive perfume. Not vanilla spray. It's expensive perfume. You're know, talking about expensive perfume or looking like a homeless person. Look. Christian Dior Joy. What's up, guys? Jenny for Christ here. Where's that accent? Where's that black accent? Mm-hmm. And I, I want to discuss something. With my fans, with my subscribers. I'm gonna speed you Why up. is talk, it? Talk too damn slow. When I put out a video where it's just my face, just my face. Hey, folks. I, I get like 100 to 200 to 200 hey, views on my video. And then the videos where I'm playing video games, I only get like 12 or 11 views. Why is that? Especially, especially if you've been currently watching my gaming videos there's a lot of tea in them there is a lot of tea in those videos and well then you need to title your videos like tea while gaming or something like that people will come watch that shit now if you over here talking shit in your videos like you're doing now and then you play games like i i it's the same thing that happened to me i could finish this right now get on a playstation and and me and nova could be on there talking the, the most messiest terrible mm-hmm. shit but all people's gonna see is spider-man or something like that they ain't gonna be yeah. interested in that you know exactly and sometimes it's the type of game that you're playing too. Like some too. Game, some people like legit can't watch because it makes them, you know, like queasy or whatever. I've heard that from people. So it depends on the type of game. But yeah, you're right. Like we could go and play a game and be talking all the shit in the world. And it'd be like, you know, a, a fraction of who we have here right now. So yeah, that's just so what that's, it is. Like, yeah. yeah, that's not and that's not the content that they some people exactly. are interested in. That's why I started. I have don't get me wrong. I have done a couple of gaming streams on my channel that were decent, but um, but I was literally just playing the game. And of course, if someone said something in the chat, I would talk about it. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, that's why I was like, fuck it. I just started playing games on Twitch because I, you know, just keep that away from my YouTube stuff. You know, but yeah. Shane just thinks that she could just cross platform, and they do that shit sometimes. Some, they've had some really good clips come from them playing games, so I will admit that. But you know. And you ignore them. You ignore my videos with tea in them. How dare you? How dare you? You're supposed to be my fans. You're supposed to be my subscribers. You're supposed to be there for me in my time of need, especially when I'm depressed. She's so much bigger here, too. Depressed, and I've been depressed, yeah. and I'm getting out of depression, which is awesome, but I'm still freaking depressed. Um, look, look at that. Look at that head. Ugh. I Man. I don't know how much. I don't know right. how much longer I'm going to watch like three this. Views right away. You see, you see my face. Three views. When I'm playing a game video, where are you? Yeah, this is before they blew up and Shani got monetized. Well, Shani used to be like a lot of these, some of these cows where like, you know, the cows that really can't get, they have a large hate audience, but they still don't really get a lot of views. They Like people will watch yeah. the reactors That's talk the about them. Yeah. 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 This is, that's what she, this is how she was before but now you know now now everybody will watch that let her get a new channel and go live she's gonna at least have she's gonna have over 100 oh, people yeah, in there watching for sure you know um i'm probably gonna skip through this so last night when well, she said something crazy are our lord and savior i really believe that pirate man i really truly believe that but but listen you son of a bitches listen you son of bitches i didn't get laid last night because my man decided to go and fall asleep on me mid you know dry mm-hmm. humping you know what <laughs> okay, I'm skipping this video. I'm done. You fell asleep dry humping? How does that work? Are you, are you, either you were like smothering him, you smelled that bad, or he was that bored that he was humping on you and fell asleep. Yeah, why was he dry humping? I don't know. What what was he dry humping? Like, ugh. <laughs> God, that's disgusting, man. Man, y'all trifling. Like the street. Yeah. Man. Fact. Yeah, like the stream. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? Maybe I'll add this to another. I don't want to watch. Let's just get into the let's get into the meat and potatoes of the situation. Here we go. So this is the one. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of pausing in this one, so let's just get to it. Oh no! Look at that face. Random white people here. Um, <laughs> wow. She started at random white people. So here we go, y'all. That was gonna be good. 
You know what grinds my gears? <clears throat> Ugh. Is when someone comes up to you and says, Your people made my people slaves. Oh no, the accent. First off, you know nobody's walking up to you and saying that. Nobody no niggas is walking up to Hey, hey, ma'am, 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 ma'am. I need to I need to tell you something, ma'am. Your people made my people slaves, bitch. Like no, what? Exactly. The only place, the only place that I will say that not necessarily that they'll walk up to you, but you mm. will run into them on the corner or on the street is like in New York with the five percenters. You will see that. Yeah. Oh yeah, like oh yeah, they'll, yeah. Yeah, they'll call you a like the black Hebrew Israelites and stuff. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like out here for sure. Like, she was in but, fucking. Um, she was in um what? Yeah, uh, nah. Colorado. Yeah, Ain't yeah, nobody in Colorado right. saying that. No. I got it. Um, and that's those aren't dark circles. Shani is it's one of those people up. that puts makeup on and goes to sleep. So, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Believe me, she she gets a, she gets plenty of sleep, y'all. She ain't got nothing else to do. <laughs> and I was like, why are you complaining? You're weren't even a slave. Your daddy and mommy weren't even slaves, and your grandparents were even slaves. Yeah, but my grand my grandfather didn't have civil rights growing up. He was a whole right. ass man with a wife and kid, and didn't have civil rights, which yeah. uh, which that you know, uh, Jim Crow, which came off the back of slavery, right? That was the new slavery, as they called it. So, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, and so I think not my great grandma, but I think my great great or something like that was like was a child of a slave or something like that so it's yeah, not like, that far away they act like, like slavery was ten thousand years ago exactly. or something like that like there was, literally people were still alive for either like the children of slaves or like you said yeah like they lived through jim crow or they were like the child of a slave. i mean jesse lee peterson talks about growing up on a goddamn um i um, grew up on a plantation work the fall <laughs> work the field <laughs> yeah, I have a, I have that song. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> you should play that one. But yeah, it's like it's. Oh, like, he black. You want to play? He black. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Play that one. That's I'll find. I'll find. I think is it a shit? It's did I erase it? I didn't erase. It. It's on my hard drive. Hold on. Let me just. I don't want y'all looking at my butt. Give me one second. Let me grab it. Uh, oh, I'm uh, too tra- sexy for this channel. <laughs> <laughs> Trash catcher said I had a dude near Times Square. Took my mom to brunch somewhere nearby. Otherwise, I'd never be caught that. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I wouldn't take this dude C D. So he started ranting about how I was racist. Yeah, in New York, you <laughs> you can't come across like five percenters, um, the the Hebrew Israelites that they will they will come at you like that. But for the most part, ain't nobody doing that. All right, let me uh, let me pull that out. Oh well, no, no, no! It's was it? Will this play? If I locate the file on the hard drive, will it play it? Yeah. It will. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think it's reading. So um, it's in that external that I got. Give um, it a second. Oh yeah, it'll play. No one really matters, but Cat said my mom, my mother was one of the black kids. Bus to a white school on the day they integrated school. Whoa, there's a pic of her. I mean, that was rough for them when that shit was going. Uh huh. And she got off the bus to go to class. You see? Be thinking this shit thousands of years ago. No. No. Like, see, um, I'll say this. Hold on. I'll say, what the fuck is going on? Oh, I still got Discord open. My bad. Let me close all this shit I don't need to have open. Um, yeah, so, and that's th- that's why I don't really talk about this stuff because, like, I, I had a like I said, I had a friend. He was always like co- constantly crying about like, oh, white people this, white people that, and I just like you can't live your life like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, can't just be like, eh, it's, everything's fucked up because you know this shit that happened. I'm like, first of all, most 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 white folks don't ain't got nothing to do with that. You know what I'm saying? And second, um, oh, I forgot to erase that too. They ain't got nothing to do with that. And, and like, I'm not going to let that shit stop me from uh, getting and taking care of shit I need to take care of. You know what I'm yeah, saying? You have a good balance of, like, understanding it for what it is and not not uh, minimizing it as if it didn't exist, but also 
being able to just still do what you got to do. And I think, you know, like... <clears throat> Yo, I, f- I think I might have fucked my hard drive up. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I'm um, just, just destroying everything. Vision TVs, electronics don't like them now. Oh, um, no, it, re- it registered. Never mind. It just made the little right. noise. Now, so. Um... I can't find it though. Anyways, don't worry about it. We'll we'll figure that Why out. Why are you blaming me? And, and and let me just put you in your place there before you start blaming me. What are oh, you she's doing? doing a, like, plantation accent. Yeah, that's a that's a black scent. That's what I'm that's, saying. That's she loves doing the the nigga accent when she's talking. It's also like a mixture of, of like a black scent and also like um uh like a Louisiana uh. <laughs> Don't say that you're piss, on on, you piss drag off. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know if I got the right place, but you know what I'm talking about? That, like, specific, uh, I think it's Louisiana. The, um, the Colonel. You mean like, like oh, oh, no, no, no. Like you mean like that Kentucky fucking, Kentucky, like, there you go. I do Kentucky. declare. Yes, yes I do yes, declare yes. that your black Kentucky. ass should not be on my, on my, yeah. on my, on my housing uh, ground. <laughs> Kentucky. <laughs> yeah, like, this is weird. <laughs> Wait, you brought yeah, your nigga? I knew, I knew Wait, you and your Jimmy want to buy one of my nigga girl? <laughs> <laughs> my bad, LA. Yeah, not Louisiana, Kentucky. See, that's what I was thinking about. Yes. <laughs> she thinking that she thinking them them Django accents. You come over here and buy one of my nigga girl. What you doing, boy? Get that nigga out of here. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh man, I love Django. I might watch that later. Yeah, that's a good one. I'm that. Irish. My people weren't even in the country when that shit went down. Now, t- now, tell me, ain't that like in the racist handbook? You ever notice that yes, shit? Yes. That's in the racist handbook, and and I'm not saying she's not wrong, right? But like, like, like I before um. Caucasian people were homogenized in this country. Uh, I don't know. She says she's native. She says she's part black. She says she's Irish. I don't believe anything. She says she's Italian. I don't believe anything this woman says. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, is is I know a lot. I mean, I could look up her last name because um, it doesn't sound Irish. Let's see. Um, let me see. Let's see what kind of where does that name come from? But it okay. is in the handbook, though, because what's his name has said the same thing. My people weren't even here yet. We waited until things were cool, and then our family came over. Okay, all right. Yeah, oh, every German. every if if yeah, d- German. Yep, I just looked it up. So if um, if her name is if that's her actual last name, then it's it's a uh, it's German. But like I mean, but, like but like I was saying before. Legacy, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but like I was gonna, <laughs> but like I was gonna say before, before the Caucasians were like kind of homogenized into one group. Yeah. They mm-hmm. they used to shit on the other ones from other countries oh, all yeah, the time. Sure. Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, Irish, Scottish, um, Italians, all that. So they used to shit on them. So she's not wrong in that thing. But I just noticed that each one of them always used that argument. Like I'm all Irish. The time. All okay. The time. <laughs> okay. Instead. We were slaves to England ourselves. <laughs> Being sold. You guys are indentured servants. <laughs> it's right. different. They would like, like I know some of them would get sent over here to do work. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And my, my, like I said, if we talk about this from my, my grandfather told me he said the reason they started grabbing black folk because you know you could, you could, you could help the little Irish girl escape. You know what I'm saying? And how they gonna find you walking right. in the crowd? Right. You know, right. well, Irish girl can assimilate or Irish boy yeah. less. Unless they had like features that would be at that time specifically would be associated with Irish people, but but yeah. like for the most part, you change your name and you ain't gonna know the difference. You take them to another there, state. No, who you gonna know? That's, That's my cousin. Right. What you doing? Let go of her. You, you know what I'm saying? Like someone whose skin color is literally a crime. That's different. Oh wait. She has the same. Oh yeah, don't. Oh, that's uh, her married name. The German. She has the same. McGraw is her last name. Okay, yeah. I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think. Le- seven times less than a black man would. 
that that's that's what happened with my people and, oh yeah and the other part so that video that i can't play where she's dropping a lot of hard yards uh mm-hmm. she talks about that same thing like black people are sold uh seven times more than the irish people or something like that like uh, it was sold? that's what she says i don't know the that doesn't sound correct to me um because th- i mean I mean, if you think about it, right, somebody, let's say, let's say even if they took an indentured servant, they was giving it to another guy, right, to work out his sentence or whatever, and they was, they was trading money. Uh, of course, eventually you're going to end up leaving. So why, why wouldn't they, of course they might sell you. I'm just saying if this is true, just from my own logic and my own brain. Of course, maybe they would sell you less or, or, or trade the money less for somebody that they can keep for the rest of their entire life, you know? Right. Not only them, you could get. Well, at the time, um, an indefinite amount of generations out of a black person because they didn't know when slavery was going to get abolished, but an indentured servant. They didn't you know? plan on it. <laughs> that, right, exactly. You know, like what? It's crazy. Part of my people was Native Americans, so they were slaves with you. So you just looking at the color of my skin and just blaming me for slavery, bitch. I don't know your history. You being ignorant, you being racist, and it needs to fucking stop. Your whole culture and their victim mentality of we were slaves, it has no, to no. fucking stop, okay? Maybe it would stop if people like you would shut the fuck up, man. Exactly. Like I said, like I said, things same thing about Hunch. It's like you remember he's like what did he say in that video? He was like, oh, you people just can't just live normally. They're like, no, it's motherfuckers like you that won't shut the fuck up. You always got to talk about other people's yeah, differences and shit. Exactly. And I'm not saying black folks, some black people are out there being racist too. Right? You know, I'm not one of those black people in that camp that black people can't be racist. They mm-hmm. say can say fuck the racist shit too, okay? And Latinos, we all, every group yeah. is capable of it. You know what I'm trying to say? But it's still, there's things that have come down from, uh, you know, us being some slaves and things like that, that's still kind of, and Jim Crow that still affect uh, groups of people nowadays. And we can't just sit there and turn a blind eye to it. You know what right. I'm saying? And when things do happen to kind of like Hold mitigate, Go ahead. you know, Sorry. those all Wee. right, those wrongs or whatever, right? Oh, you mess yeah. around with the, the thing. Yeah, I didn't yeah, know that was there. Happen to right those wrongs, then people still have a, a, a shit fit about it. Like, it was mm-hmm. like, I think mm-hmm. like a year or so ago when they decided to. Um, when they had the grant for the farmers and shit like that, right? Yeah. And there was a problem with that because uh, the percentage that was going to go towards uh, black farmers. And it's mm-hmm. like, oh no, no, people had a problem with the fact that so much went towards um, that, oh yeah, that black farmers were historically have been kept from certain grants and certain like government subsidies and shit like that. So they were putting something into place to mitigate that. And people had a, a shit fit about that. And it's like, well, when things happen to fix these problems, you have a problem with it. So then people are not going to shut up about it. They're not. Because y'all won't let people, y'all won't let the system right the wrongs. So, yeah. you know, all right, fuck it. We'll keep bitching until, it, until that happens. I, I kind of blame it on our um, on our education system in this country. Like, like I said, you know, yeah. look at Look at Mr. DeSantis. He's getting rid of African and American studies and all sorts of stuff like they. And this, he's not the That's only state thing. in this country yeah. Yeah. that does that shit. They want to. They want to erase that shit and act like it, like it never happened and stuff. And that's like one of the problems, right? You know? And it's, and it's just like, uh, look, 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 so you said I can't stand white people discussing. See that that's the thing, right? There are people out there that literally are like uh, Hunch and some other people that come out here and they get upset when you talk about that. And no, like nobody's saying like. Like you got a white privilege card and shit. Like if you're a poor white person, you got a raw deal too. Cause like they they was looking at like if you look at the statistics, like cops they mainly fuck with poor people, like poor pe- people that can't defend themselves, mm-hmm. right? Um, and so poor white people they get they get it too, right? But it's just like if I go me and a, a white dude go to court for the same crime, they often like more than likely get less time for the same crime just because our my skin is. <laughs> a different mm-hmm. color than theirs, you know what I'm trying to say, and, and it's things like that. You know, I've uh, I've seen cops. 
I seen cops just all, all fucking every group of people up on when they pull them over, but like they just seem to be a little bit more aggressive when you when you're a dark skinned person. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. And it's a lot, and there's a lot of other. Things. I've talked about this before. Um, friend, uh, a guy I'm cool with, and he streams. Uh, he, him, and his wife selling the house. He had to take all the pictures of his wife and kids down um, because he didn't want his house to be appraised for less. Yeah. Yeah, I know someone who was literally told by a realtor, uh, the neighbors here are not friendly. They, they don't want uh, people of color in this neighborhood. Legit. Oh, really? That's fine <laughs> yeah, with me. Like, I don't want to talk to like, niggas in my neighborhood no. anyway. <laughs> so they couldn't sell them the house. You know, so they they they, they wasn't trying to sell them the house. They were in a, you know, whatever that the whole thing is. And it's like, it's like it still happens to this day. Like to yeah. this day, it still happens. And see, caretakers, right? And in certain states, they're doing this. They're trying to get rid of mm-hmm. his, historical stuff that happened to black folk. They're trying to erase. Uh, I keep telling people. I had I had a friend. I'm not going to out him, but I had a friend. and He was kind of coming to me about like, oh, I'm getting titles LB, and LGBTQ. And I had it. Me and him had to have a talk. And I was telling him like, bro, they literally. I said they're dead. I mean, we're like couples. Like Miss Parker even called. Like they, we're a couple steps from like some fascist shit happening. Well, it is fascist, but like some Nazi shit happening because they're trying to get rid of. It. First, they they're trying to like make it illegal. Like as soon as it's illegal to be gay in this country, uh, colored folks hold on to your ass. Do you understand me? Because <laughs> they're coming for us next, and that 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 train ain't never late. You know what I'm saying? And they're already trying to get rid of black history in certain states. It's coming for I, I got a plan. I don't know about y'all. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know. I got a plan. And it involves whatever, wherever you're going. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's common yeah. to suitcase or everybody. Well, you'll be lucky because everybody speaks Spanish there. So <laughs> my black ass out. Hey, you ain't gonna stay here and be and then all you, I'm gonna say is all you, uh, all you are, uh, uh, I'm just all you coons of, of any color that's from uh, from a uh, people of colors. Y'all gonna be in the camps with us. So if if they catch us, I'm be like, I saw you on on YouTube talking shit, and I'm gonna beat your motherfucking ass. You know what I'm saying? That's what's gonna happen. Anyways, tell us more, Shani. It's been 200 years ago since your people were slaves. <laughs> you were never slaves. You are never under a man's yoke. What? You need to get over it. You need to stop using it as an excuse on why you don't do anything with your life. (laughs) (laughs) What? (laughs) (laughs) Meanwhile, they're in this house, just festering away, rotting away in a house. Glass (laughs) glass houses. Good fucking God. I don't even know if that's a word, but I'm making it up. The glass now she now she can't get a job because she's disabled, quote unquote, which we all know is bullshit. Oh, that's hilarious. That is the funniest thing I've heard all day. You need to see this is another person that sits around and reads the internet instead of actually going out and, and having a life. Reads the internet and freaks out about shit that they read on the internet. It's like move on with Go your do life. Some. I'm sorry that England was assholes and did that to your people. It wasn't just England, it was Spain, it was France, right. it was Portugal, <laughs> it was a large part of Europe that did that shit. A nice little chunk of Europe. That was doing that to yeah. to indigenous and, and black. Uh, folks, some of us so. speak Spanish. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> and like I said, I've said this before. I had to get on. A, I had to jump down a black guy's ass uh, uh, one time. Oh, because he was sitting there acting like they were they were playing victim Olympics and they were talking about uh, ain't no uh, ain't nobody been treated as bad as black people. I said, what about Native Americans? Right. I said, and I said, what about all these other indigenous countries that, that had people on it and they fucking came there? I was like, that's said that. Said, you think Puerto Rico, Cuba, and all these other Spanish-speaking countries outside of Spain was speaking Spanish before the Europeans came yeah, here? Right. What the fuck are you talking about? You know, like, so, you know, black folks stupid on this shit, too. But, like, say, like I like how she just, like, it was just England. Like, oh, okay, she. It was just England. Yeah, it was just England. Sorry. There wasn't a whole Spanish Inquisition or nothing. Yeah, no, nah, that, that didn't happen. But... May I also add that you should start blaming your people too because oh. it was your ch- Hold on, what up Crash Cuckoo? Yeah, I know Crash Cuckoo loves some Shani. Yeah, Shani's being 
Chance being racist, so here we go. Chiefs and your tribesmen that sold you into slavery. So it was your own people that sold you. Oh, that's another one in the racist handbook. Oh, your yeah. own people. You need a bingo sold card you. for this because yes, that's another one. What is that? Okay, so what does that mean? So you like so every so what like every other country in the whole entire Africa just like you know what fuck West Africa they can be taken like I don't think that's how that worked man you know what I'm saying I don't think that's how that worked I forgot I think I heard Yado or somebody talking about that like they would help them so their people wouldn't get enslaved or some shit like that I forgot what it was uh something to that effect they would help catch other other tribes so they wouldn't get taken. You know? Oh and, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. It, it, it was so, like, like self-preservation. Yes. Yeah. Because not all the tribes were cool with each other. You know what right. I mean? So, and and the same, I think the natives had some tribes where they didn't like that tribe, so they would fight on this side to fuck you, up. fuck you guys. They didn't like you. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So, so it's just human nature at the end of the day. But to be a slave, <laughs> we at the black delegation <laughs> give up <laughs> West Africa. England. <laughs> well, that's one of the reasons why I like the the Panther, the the newest one. Damn, I can never remember the, the title of that one. The newest Black Panther movie. Mm-hmm. Um, one of the reasons why I like that one so much is because that's exactly what was about to happen. Now, I mean, spoiler alert for anyone who hasn't watched it, but but they were willing to take each other out, and then it would have made it much easier for. The rest of the world to acquire the vibe, you know, um, mm-hmm. the, the vibranium. Vibranium, vibranium, right? Where then, then they realize like this ain't this ain't what we need, what we should be doing. We need to work together regardless. And they ended up, you know, deciding to work together. And it's like that's what happened in a lot of the in history where you have, like you said, these tribes didn't get along. So oh, these Europeans will link up with this tribe and take out this other one. But then after mm-hmm. they take them out, they're next. You know what I mean? And that's something that maybe they just didn't see until it was too late. But yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, and uh, Miss Mag probably brings up a good, like, they literally, that was another yeah. way of putting people in jail. That, like, the way they, that's basically, that's basically, y'all, like, I mean, they make, they, what are they paying, like, 10 cent a month or something? Like, they literally 10 cent from slavery. You know what I'm saying? It's basically, yeah. it's basically legalized slavery, too, so, which is crazy. Or it wasn't even you. It was your ancestors. Oh, I'll, I'll answer this real quick. Um, yes, yes. Uh, another you, another YouTuber called for a welfare check on him and reported back. And the police reported back that yeah, they they still still they're still at the uncle's house. They just not online. It's possible that the internet has been cut off. So who knows? Ancestors mm. into slavery. So to just blame someone based on their skin color is pretty ignorant. But here's the thing. Nobody's like, I would never walk up to, like, I would never walk up to just some random white person on the street. Even for people that use this type of rhetoric, I'm not even going to, like, blame you. It's more of a, it's more people like this that's running the system that we got to worry about. You know, the police, the judges, the politicians, you know, things like that, certain, uh, you know, uh, the structures of the country that that mm-hmm. that people are looking at, and uh, unfortunately, let's just be completely honest. Like it's mostly run by old Caucasian dudes. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That were around them times. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, so yeah. I'm I'm not saying that all of them are racist. Of course, I'm not saying that. But it's more stuff that's that's like I said, in a, that's systematic, right? So that yeah. that that we talk about. I mean. Um, I'm not going to sit here and blame Shani because Shani, what are you doing? I mean, you're just festing away your stinky ass in the house. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you're not doing nothing. Yeah. Same thing with the other yeah. guy. He ain't doing shit. He don't leave the house. He's playing his terrible instruments badly and all that other shit and crying online. Y'all not doing nothing. I mean, probably, right. I'm not going to lie, saying this type of rhetoric doesn't help either. Is it, you know what I'm saying? But No, it doesn't. But know. yeah, at the end of the day, you're, you, for the people who do put these things into place or for the people who do have the power to make any sort of change socially or from like a societal perspective, we'll look down on Shani too. And uh, we'll look at Shani and Rev like the, what is it, the drags of yeah. society? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. they, they don't not, like you either. Yeah, they don't like your ass either. <laughs> yeah, like, like when they was all kissing Trump's ass, Trump don't like poor people. He don't like no. y'all. He, he think y'all, he just, once again, it's like they, y'all are useful idiots. Y'all are stupid. It's not saying all Trump supporters are. I'm just saying the ones that, like Shane, like the other one, these guys who are like 
like I love when they went they would talk to the people at the rallies and you find out they're on government assistance but they want to get rid of welfare mm-hmm. at the same time like right. you're, you're, you're shooting yourselves in the foot there's a bunch of dumb motherfuckers out there that that could benefit uh from different systems that these that that you know republicans and stuff yeah. and other groups want to get rid of and they don't even know it it's you like when a person say? says that a person <laughs> in New York. bastard the green said all republicans are <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Trump supporters, my bad. Not Republicans, Trump supporters, my bad. It's like when a person <laughs> says, like, that New York is a shithole and it's too liberal and it's this and it's that, but then t- uh, tells a story of getting their teeth taken out for 40 fucking dollars and almost dies because they get an infection. Well, maybe if mm. you live in the blue state, you're going to have to deal with that. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. you know, if you've convinced people that other folks who are getting certain benefits are undeserving of it, so they'll cut their nose to spite their face. They'll vote against mm-hmm. their own best interests, thinking that for some reason those other people are undeserving of those benefits, and then and and vote themselves out of them same benefits. All uh, right, yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna play real quick because, of course, I got a call. You know what I'm saying? All right. Pretty fucking stupid, and the very fact that you weren't even there when it happened <laughs> makes it even worse. You don't even know your own history. Instead, you use it as an excuse. I might speed her up because she's high as fuck, so she's yeah. tough. You don't even know your... Uh, Shani, please tell me about black history, Shani. Please. Yeah, we want to know. Shani, Shani's guide to black history. Here we go. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not going to use anything as an excuse to get in my way when I want to get something done. Oh, really? But <laughs> That's why you have a job now, right? Mm. Oh, Lord. She is she is one funny lady. Yo, I think, uh-oh, I might have ruined my hard drive. <laughs> How do you do that? It was in my computer, and I, most of these things are like plug and play, right? You unplug them, you yeah. plug them back in, right? Un- unless... Unless my the thing that I plugged it into isn't um, isn't plugged in, it's it's shown that it's on, but for some odd reason, it, none of the files on it is popping up. Wait, I might have. Oh, that's happened to me. I'm gonna have to unplug it and plug it back in. Yeah, I ain't fucking with it. Here we go. You know, it's on you, I guess. But you know, you can c- keep blaming white people for. The fact that you're in a gain and um, you you're, shoot you're, people up. You're in a gain. <laughs> a gain? Oh, 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 that's another one in the handbook yes. too. Black on black crime. Uh, you're in a gain and you should. Yeah, yeah, because that's what. Yeah, okay, all right. A gain. You, you, I gotta hear. You gotta hear that again. You, I guess. But you know, you can c- keep blaming white. Remember, she loves black people. White people for. The fact that you're in a gain and um, you're shooting people up. You can blame the white man, I guess, for the reason why. The gain. You know, you're living in a, you know, project area, but white people live in projects too. So it's not exactly just a black problem. No, but the the, the percentages are way higher, you fucking right. adult. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> fucking moron. Jesus Christ! <laughs> White people are living in projects. But then, like you said, if if we if we try to allocate some money to help those people, people no, that usually it. use your rhetoric get mad at it. So it's like, what are exactly. you damned if you do, you damned if you don't? Yep. You fucking yep. damned if you do, damned if you don't, man. It's like, what the fuck? Too, if you know, white people are experiencing pro- poverty too. I don't think it's erasing quite anymore. I think what's going on. I mean, I'll, I'll give you that, like. The, the the middle class is shrinking in this country because we got a lot of greedy motherfuckers out here that are just using um this country's wealth for their own benefits, right? And yeah. they don't give a fuck about what's going on. But instead of you idiots, instead of people like seeing that shit, and I and I put this blame on just humans in general. We're too busy fighting about skin color and genitals, oh, and we should be that. paying attention to that. And we should be paying attention to the fuck the way the world, like the the temp, the, the climate change. All we should be paying attention to that. We're too busy fighting about genitals. You know yep. what I'm saying? And um, 
What'd you say? Uh, hey, BGTV, I'm a poor whitey, so you better not complain about racism. What? <laughs> yeah, that's that's definitely what she's saying. Um, but it's just like instead of that, we're 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 fighting about this nonsense. And yeah, I mean, like like me and Nova was talking about the damn homeless. Like 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 the homeless, like in the cities, man. That shit is crazy, man. No, the richest country in the world should never have any homeless people, but we do, and it's insane. No, too. man, we have a. Uh, uh a lot but then also in these places where it is predominantly like white and in the the areas that are predominantly white and impoverished they are typically in a lot of red states like if mm-hmm. you look at impoverished areas and like blue states or whatever they're doing better than the ones in the port you know in the red states why because there's money allocated to it. Think what you, you know, you can hate it, love it or hate it. Like, it doesn't even matter. Like, if mm. you look at it, the um, the poor people in blue states are doing better than the poor people in red states. Why is that? And you're voting these people into office and then crying about, oh, we're, we're poor too. Well, then vote better so that they will they would do something for their poor people. But the reality is that you're just a voting block and they know that you don't want that Mexican family to get those benefits or that black family to get those benefits. So you're willing to vote against your own best interests. And that's the problem. And that has to do with education. Yeah, that. And then here's another thing. Like you said, a lot of those uh, those those poor red state people, they those towns used to like have factories and all that yeah. kind of stuff in there. And, then, and like the, now... Yep. Yeah, and they're letting these companies outsource all this stuff to other other countries that have poor people in sweatshops. Like, like this is why whenever people like, I, you know, I got an iPhone, and I get, I got sneakers and shit. But like, I, 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 I try not to put. I like, I like having these things, but I try not to like. You know, some people put these things on a pedestal. I'm like, you know, some probably like small Asian child that made this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's like, funny. there's African kids in some mine digging up the metal. For these yeah. fucking phones, like, can we not kiss the ass of this, of this stuff? And I, and I know I'm part of the problem by buying some of these things, but it's just like, um, but then again, when I keep when I buy shoes, I keep them shits for years. So I'm gonna be honest, like, yeah. at least on that one. So I'm not just wasting, wasting. Um, I, I'm not like some people buy a shoe, wear a couple times, throw it in the trash. You know, um, mm-hmm. I wear them shits to the heels, uh, busted off. <laughs> um, yeah. but. But yeah, like I was saying, yeah, the factories and stuff, and these like like these 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 towns that used to be you know full of work now they don't have it because uh, you know, and I mean like I'm not gonna put it on just one party. Uh, like granted, I always put it like this, you know, I, I don't like the I don't like the Democrats. I think a lot of them are a bunch of shills too, but they throw you a bone now and then. The other side don't throw you bone at all. You know what I'm saying? They don't throw you shit. You know they don't throw you nothing. They don't even no. get, they don't even throw you a bone. There's no meat on it or nothing. They was like, I'm hungry. Well, get a job. Like That's the, how they act. What the pride land? No, not the pride land. Like in Lion King, where the hyenas were. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like they yeah. ain't not giving you nothing. It's just like yeah, you ain't get. You take whatever scraps you can get. Them bootstraps could be broken and torn. They won't even give you bootstraps. Like yeah. they won't put your bootstraps up. I don't have any. Well, that's your problem. Make some. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Fun is classism. Hey, I'm watching this because Mango and Ali was asking me to. Okay, I could be watching them yelling at each other, which might be the next one. Here we go. And you guys, you use the slavery thing as an excuse, you know, and I can't help what, what, what rich men do. And, and you could say, but it's all the white rich men. What about all the, you know, black ri- rich men? Are they helping you guys out? Of your- oh my God. These people sound exactly the same. I think our, 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 our other friend said the same thing. Like, you can't say it ain't no rich black people. Like. <laughs> oh yeah, because Oprah, Oprah being rich or LeBron James being rich solves slavery. That's it. Yeah. It's done. No, solve racism. That's it. It's done. It's, it, hang it up. No more yeah. racism. Your plate? No. Nova has never watched it. Let me speak. I don't think. I gotta, <laughs> no. gotta watch it. They're sitting on their fortune and not sharing with anybody. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Oprah. Get your, get your black ass out there and give all the black people money. <laughs> Yeah, that'll fix everything. That'll fix the right. cops, all that shit. The judicial system. Yeah, okay. I mean, why isn't your black leaders helping you? Why <laughs> Why don't you go to Oprah and tell Oprah why she isn't, you know, helping the projects out and the black communities out with her billions of dollars? 
Why don't, don't you know. ask that? You know? I mean, there's a little... How do you know that she's not? I was just about to ask her. Not only that, one of the reasons why me and this dude got into a whole thing was because it was something like that, where they had an open fund out in Cali or whatever, where they were supposed to allocate like $500 towards um, women of color or, or f yeah, like black families or black women, I think it was, right? Mm -hmm. Like single moms. And, um, and people had a fit about it because it was like, well, what about the poor white people? In that area, apparently like over 90% of the people living in poverty were people of color. And mm. the small percentage of white folks that did live there, most of them lived well over the poverty line. And it was like maybe like a small percentage of white people living underneath it. And people had a fit about that. So it's like when people do collaborate to help you know, and to there's no winning, right? You have a you, you have a problem with that as well. So it's like there's no winning. Yeah, my yeah. my thing would be, what is your all? You you, you you tell people to pull. Why aren't these people donating? As soon as the money's about to go, to them, what? But what about, what about like us? what? What about <laughs> us? What about you, motherfucker? You got 400 years this a head start. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? That's all I would yeah. say. And it's even worse with a motherfucker like Shannon talking because yeah. not only like like not only do you have like this sort of like and I know people get triggered with the whole white privilege thing, but there's a privilege. But not only do you have that sort of like ingrained privilege, you know, when it comes to society, but you also came in contact with a man who literally got a fucking uh, uh, inheritance of three quarters of a million dollars and, and you squandered it away and smoked yeah. it away. Mm -hmm. Now so you, you on EBT getting lobster right. and, and, and why you ain't eating lobster yeah, and, and, uh, and filet mignon, huh? Bitch. Yeah, exactly. Stupid hoe. There's a lot of things you can do. You know, you, you you blame just the white person, but you know, there are black people that are rich and are powerful. What happened to Obama fixing you guys? You know, you thought Obama was gonna fix you what? guys. No one would live in projects anymore. I mean, what the hell you get from Obama? A fucking phone? A fucking sh You know what's funny? There were there are niggas out there that thought this nigga was just gonna be super nigga and just come down and like <laughs> just fix the country. Like, yo, you no, but do you remember the white folks that was getting, they was terrified. They thought it was going to be reverse slavery. They thought white folks was going to be in charge. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, no, that nigga's in office. Holy shit. They was scared. Remember that shit? It was petrified. They was petrified. Oh, no, the 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 the, the, animal, the national animal's going to be a pit bull. Fuck, you know what I'm saying? They was scared. They was terrified. Oh, shit. They gonna, it's going to be white slavery. Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> and then, and then, what did the nigga do? He got in there and did what every other motherfucking chill ass president did. You know what I'm saying? And they still was mad at that nigga. Politics, you know what politics. I mean? And what he gave, he gave some phone. Which, which people are like, oh, what did you get? Just, just a phone. However, when it comes to acquiring a job, when it comes to um, being able to do, you know, like um, certain things that you have to do online. Poor people don't have the, 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 the money for smartphones. So mm -hmm. it did come in handy for a lot of people. to be able to give a lot of people phone. insurance, medical insurance, yeah, too. exactly. So, I mean, where you get just a phone, well, maybe your teeth wouldn't be falling out your fucking mouth if you live somewhere where, you know, you got medical coverage as well. Well, her teeth was falling out of mouth when she had money. That was the thing, yeah, too. True, too. Oh, and the other yeah. thing. Oh, and the other thing, too, is that. The funny thing is, uh, no, I think I'm pretty sure while they were in their little uh, homeless arc, they was talking about Obama phones. Now they talk about the positive. We gotta get one of them Obama phones. <laughs> How the tables have turned. <laughs> so if y'all are wondering why we watch this shit sometimes, it's because this bitch had a whole, totally different attitude when she had some some money in her in her account, and now she ain't got no money. She's you know she's taught you know she's a liberal now and all that other shit. You know, mm -hmm. hilarious. Shitty piece of fucking plastic. Oh, yay. I can now talk to my Aunt Susie that I haven't talked to years. Yep. She's still a fucking bitch. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, okay, I don't know. I don't, I don't think Obama <laughs> did, you know, very good for the black community, but you guys love him for some reason. Um, you know. I think they love him because the matter of fact that he was the first black president. There was never a black man to be the president ever, motherfucker. Do you know that tells the rest of the fucking country that you could be a fucking pro the president too? You know, like like that's what it. Even though he was rich and all that other stuff, but you know what I'm trying to say. 
Yeah, representation you know? is a thing. Like it's hit, it was a historical people. moment. Yeah. The and same way, like, I'm, hey, we've been we've had this many presidents, and it's the first time that someone you know was able to get up there that's that was black. Man, that's a huge moment. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, I mean. I mean, I I didn't expect much because I you know watching politics, all these motherfuckers do the same thing. They just suck the the rich, the dick of the rich people. You know what I'm saying? But of course, depending on what side they are, they might help the little guy a little bit or not at all. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know. Uh, you blame the white people for getting the you know the black person down, but the black people they don't lift their people up. I did, actually had to tell uh, some of my family one time because they were saying something stupid. I, I was like, you did, I had to tell them, that, you know, we're not, we're like. There's a reason they call us a minority, right? And I was and I was telling them, like, white people had to vote for him too. That's why I had to tell them that. Like, so can you stop with the bullshit? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Say they were saying something stupid. I'm like, stop it. White people had to vote for for Obama too. Okay. Right. <laughs> that's why I had to tell them like, so stop. You know? Sometimes you see. So that's the difference between me and Shan, Shani and others that use that rhetoric. I'll stop people that are around me saying fuck shit like that, I will stop it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can't, sit, you can't sit there and cry about other people being racist to to your group and then you're fucking racist back. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, hey, stop that shit. Like, yeah, you know? everybody could be a bigot. You know what I mean? And that shouldn't be tolerated either. Yep. When they're in a position where they can lift people. Wait, uh, hold on. Damn it, I gotta start get, I gotta organize this. But anyways, uh, where is it? Uh, here you go. Sure. What's up, man, Yucca? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite. <laughs> I'm just saying. So it's got to be a classism problem and not a racism problem. I'm just saying. Yeah, I mean, both aren't mutually exclusive. Right. Be a little bit of so, both. You know, you want you want to blame the whitey? The whitey. Go ahead, but it shows your ignorance. You know, it shows the fact that you were never a slave. You were you know? Why do these people get so pressed about this? And you know, it's always uneducated, always. stupid, always. lazy. And I've noticed that I, a lot of the, a lot of the uh, you know, excuse my words when I say this, but a lot of the white people that I've kind of clashed with, like Shani, Rev, and some of these other idiots, they're all ignorant, low class, um, you know, idiots that are. And then when they they think they're just gonna run over you because you're black or something, and you go you jump down their ass. Mm-hmm. With, one way or another, they get all upset. They all, holy shit. He's one of those uppity niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't too big for your britches. Yeah. But it's always these dumb. And then there, I know there are some people that are educated that do this, but I think a lot of them motherfuckers are grifting. Like, um, like Tucker, like you find out like how Tucker feels about the president and all those shit. Like oh, you don't like the sure. motherfuckers. Yeah. You know? They know that yeah. Yeah, they know they know you. They know these people are, they know the people that they, in their audience are stupid. They, but they but they act like they love you, you know? Yep. And you show your ignorance toward what people who are lighter in complexion. Because you just assume that just because they're white, they're automatically fucking England. And they're not. What? I don't know. I don't know what you're okay, talking you about. You can't there. even blame the Germans, and they're white for slavery. The Germans weren't involved in slavery. You know, neither were the Swedes or any of you know the neither. I don't know what she's talking about. I've That's never heard that exactly. argument. I've never heard anybody like the fucking Germans enslaving my people. Damn Germans. <laughs> damn Germans. Like who's the damn mean, Swedish people with the big asses, big old tall blonde, <laughs> big booty woman. Slaving me, like I don't know if I say that. <laughs> but it's like what we were saying earlier. A lot of, and I think this is what's always interesting to me is that a lot of these folks take it personally when you talk about like a system that's been disproportionate. You know, that marginalizes certain groups of people. Like, you know, that's the whole point that many folks do try to make. Like, you're literally mad at this other group of people when, at the end of the day, it's the system that's the problem. So yeah. why take it personally? Nobody's talking about you. I'm talking about the system that has put things into place that does benefit you in some in some ways, for sure. But at the end of the day, like the the like I said, like the issues with the system, not necessarily individuals. Yeah. Sorry. Um, let me see something. And the Germans okay. have their own so legacy think- to deal with. 
This thing is picking up my fucking thing. God damn it. There it goes. I don't know. Whatever. All I can say is, yeah, the, you, yeah, the Germans and, and well, the Nazis. That wasn't. The, yeah, the that Germans got to deal with their own, you know, uh, uh, their own uh, BS. You staying in history. Yeah, yeah. Man, I'm getting upset. I want to play that song. And my my thing is being weird because he black. <laughs> that shit is so good. Yeah, I mean, I think you know, I, can, I, think I can find it. Give people. me a second. You know, they weren't involved in slavery. Are you going to blame them for it because their skin is white? And, and you know what? There are some black people who weren't even slaves at all. So No uh, shit. I, do they, do, should they use the same complex just because they have the same complexion as you? Should they blame all the white people for their atrocities? I'm just wondering, how far do we go to blaming the white person for all your problems instead of you just taking a stand and... uh taking care of the problems yourself. Now, you can say, no, the white man keeping me down. The, the white man will never let me out of the projects. You fucking liar. <laughs> You're a fucking liar. Oh, there are so many programs for African Americans to get them out of poverty. So many, more than any white person. Name one. Name one, Shane. Right. I bet you can't. I bet you can't. Please. Trust me. You know, especially when it comes to going to school, you guys could get grants upon grants and you can make more money than. Wait, white people are excluded from grants. grants I didn't know that. Grants when... Newsflash. Don't even try to go to college, white folks. Y'all y'all don't get grants, apparently. Uh, the affirmative there... action argument. OK, there, are there grants for colored people? I mean, people of color. Yeah, there's grants for women that I can't get. You know what I'm saying? Be like... White women like the biggest <laughs> recipient of a, like uh, when it comes to other uh, the, one of the largest Nova be quiet beneficiaries are white Nova's women. a racist. Nova is a racist. <laughs> Nova is a racist. <laughs> oh man. What do I know, right? I'm just yeah, saying no. a city dweller. Fuck that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you damn clean up your city and then talk about it. <laughs> Anything. You know, especially, you know, when if you have one white person who has an equal equal education to a black person, the black person is going to get the job and not the white person because they're black. So you have more opportunity than white people. Everyone talks about this white What are you talking about? Like, what? Uh, affirmative action. When the reality, oh, is like, yeah. the reality is like the reason why that has to be put into place is because even at one point, right, uh, even the most mediocre of white people <laughs> can get ahead in a job before the most qualified of black people. So that's yeah. why there had to be a space <laughs> Look at wedged George Bush. in there, exactly, for black Bush people, Jr. for people of color, for women, because the most mediocre white man will get ahead and everybody else had to suffer. So that's why they had to put that into place. God damn. I hate, I hate these fucking uneducated, like, look, I don't even have a formal education. I, oh, went, I did later. one semester. Yes, exactly. I, went, I did one semester in fucking college. But you know what? When I don't know something, I read. I don't know why mm. some of y'all just don't do that. Just go it, read some shit. It's too hard. <laughs> like, that's it. <laughs> you see me, I struggle. It's too hard. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> White people can get a grant if they go to HBCU. There's even initiatives to bring some more white people into HBCUs uh, so that they can get um, funding and all that. Because, you know... <laughs> Politicians like to pull funding from HBCUs. Oh yeah, no, yeah. The Nazis did go after black people, disabled, gays. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, uh, I, I like what Chris Rock made that joke. He's like, I don't. He's like, if I go for a job, and I should never get it over someone who's more qualified than me ever, ever. He said, but you know, if we're the same, fuck them. That's what he said. Like, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, and so many of these little experiments have tried to show. Like, remember that one where that guy had the hundred dollars and he would name certain things. Like, who grew up in a house with two parents? And like, every time he said something, you got to run. Yeah. And yeah. then when he finished, all the black people in the back compared yeah. to everybody else. Yeah, and all wild. the white people like, oh my god, that yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I remember that one lady. I forgot her name. She would do little experiments to teach children. Uh, like about racism and like she would like exclude everybody in the room that had brown oh. eyes and they're like oh that's not fair and then she's like that's how black people feel and they're all like yeah the blue eyes <laughs> yeah blue oh eyes. and that, that, there was another video uh, that cracked me up where they were mm -hmm. talking about 
they were talking about racism and they had people like raising their hands and stuff. No, no, the lady was like, oh, no, one lady was like, oh, everything's equal in this country. No, no, they just complain. It's just like, okay, then raise your hand in here if y'all would trade up places with a black person. Not one of them people raised their fucking mm-hmm. hands. He's like, exactly. see, you fucking Jane know. Like, <laughs> yep, Jane Elliott, yep. That shit was That's funny. how you know. Yeah, it was hilarious. Pretty shit. No, black. It's shit. Chris Rock said that. Remember, he's like, he said, "There's a." He said, "No white person will ever switch me." He said, "There's a one-legged bus boy in here that won't change." Nah, <laughs> I don't want to change. I'm gonna ride this white thing out. He's like, and I'm rich. <laughs> yo, and, yo, and colorism, yo, colorism is real shit. Cause I know Puerto Ricans that are, that they look white when you look at them, right? They uh-huh. look like white people, and these motherfuckers will be on crack, and we not want to trade places with a black person. You get what I'm saying? Right. Like they be cracking. They, they be hitting the yeah. pipe. You be like, you want to you want to trade with Jay-Z? I mean he married to Beyonce. Like, no, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> and you be and like that's how deep rooted this shit is. And that's how you know. That's how you know when people tell you that they don't believe in white privilege, that's bullshit. They know exactly what it is. They just don't want to sacrifice their position in it. Because if you if they had to trade places, they wouldn't. Not in a heartbeat. Not I mean not in a minute. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> people have more opportunity in this country than white people because they have more programmings to help them get out of pro- more poverty. More programmings. White people have very few programs to get them out of poverty, you know? But black people, they have so, like, tons and tons of programs to get them out of fucking Yeah, they just, we just sit there like, hey, man, you know this program? Nah, man, I'm good, man. I don't need any of them programs. <laughs> Fuck that shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I, I don't want none of them programs, man. Yeah, I'm going to stay here. I like it. It's fun. You know? Poverty. So- Nobody likes being poor. There are, don't get me wrong, there's always going to be a subscri- subset of people that are pro- perfectly fine with their lot in life. You know what I'm trying to say? But there are a lot of people that, you know, that like, like, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not, you know, remember, I think it was happening when y'all was streaming, remember when, uh, or when Miss Parker had her husband and she was talking to him and she asked him like why did you start doing the stuff you did he's like because i was trying to provide for my family there's a lot of people that end up doing that shit because they don't see no way out of the hood you know their Mm -hmm. parents don't have no money there ain't no fucking good jobs around or they gotta go two three hours out of their neighborhood to go get some good jobs and stuff like that Mm -hmm. and some of them think well fuck it i could just sit here and sell drugs and make money you know what i'm saying that's how they get pulled you know and they'll sacrifice freedom just for that at least yeah and then they get caught and get all the time in the world because they just sound yeah. a, little, a little plant that somebody want to smoke. It's like, what? That they eventually oh. made, you know... Uh, legal, legal in like, certain places, yeah. You, you know, they could cut through some of the... find a way to uh, uh, capitalize off of it. They could have capitalized out, off that a long time ago, let's be honest. Yeah, but you, just, but you know yeah, you know what they were really trying to do. Yeah, of course. Yeah. The very excuse... Shut my nip. Says the white man keeping me down. No, no, no. Okay, and the excuse of the white man putting me in jail, the cops are putting me in jail. No, you're going to jail because you are a criminal and you don't know how to follow the law. Says a criminal. Right. Says a woman that beat her, beat, uh, had put her hands on multiple people. I find that really funny. But she was like, remember, uh, y'all remember she was in jail? Uh, like, when she's like, I need justice. <laughs> yeah, you know what's hilarious? There's always people like this. Like and I did a stream a long time ago, and I was going over like there were some people that I was going back and forth with, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, calling me an inner city dweller, right? And I'm the only, I'm Hispanic. They're all white. And guess who's the only person who didn't have a fucking mugshot? Yeah. I was the only one that didn't have a mugshot. They all had mugshots and was calling me a criminal. <laughs> like, that's <laughs> like, yeah, because your skin, because you got the brown skin, you're automatically a criminal. <laughs> exactly. You should have got some shades and put a wig on and said, Bullshit, bitch. <laughs> Bullshit. Bitch. <laughs> I was like, This is why. Oh my God. I cannot wait to watch that Vidal versus Hussey oh, stuff that's later. Be so good. <laughs> How long is it? Do you know? Uh, 40 minutes? No, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30 minutes. You think we'll get through that? And yeah, we should. That's, that'll yeah, be enough. We'll do it. Yeah. Just in case you could just cue that other one up, just in case the old school yeah. one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Cops cannot throw you in jail without, you know, due process. They can't throw you in. Where you been? Like, what you, What are you talking about? Man, them motherfuckers make up all kinds. I, all I, okay, I watch a few things, right? I watch, of course, I watch Low Cow. 
I like to watch uh, anime stuff, right? Video game stuff. And another large thing I watch is cops getting fu- like doing dirty shit or abusing their power. And and they like cops. I, they've shown cops planting evidence. That's why they don't like the body cams because imagine all the bullshit cops used to get away oh, with yeah, before yeah. body cams. And now we have body cams. Like they've caught people like planting stuff. Uh, uh, one time, they, some lady, something happened. They pulled her over, and two female cops. They f- used a flip coin app to decide if they was gonna take her to jail or not. They do fuck shit like that. Cops get you in, and if you don't have, if you don't know what to do, if you don't know how to, if you don't get a lawyer, or some people obviously they know how to re- FOIA request the body fo- body um the body cam footage. If you don't know how to do that stuff, you'll get co- tossed up in the system and end up in fucking jail. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's what that's what that's why you have a lot of people who uh, that they're constantly talking about um, people. Uh, I don't know if you guys have caught on, but in like politics, there's this like anti-intellectual movement type of thing, right? Oh, you mm. know, kid, these schools are too left-leaning and they're liberal and this and that. But part of the reason why they hate that is because information is key, you know. And so mm. the more have access to and the more information people have access to things like the central park five can't happen again things like you know that used to be they used to pass under the radar because people were just uneducated they didn't have access that that doesn't happen the way it used to and and it's uncovering a lot of bullshit Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. exactly um and I just wanted to address this. You said I'm older. What is a low? Uh, Shannon's a low. I don't know the exact definition. I think it's a person. Lows means um, laugh out loud. I, get it, get, yeah, you get a lot. Yeah, it's a person that like this person. They, they they all seem to have a. a they can't take any accountability. They don't want to work. They're like a lot of them are criminals or do weird shit. Uh, um, have horrible takes like this. And then, and if you give them any of the slightest bit of pressure, they freak the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, yeah, it's, that's you know, look. Oh, I think somebody already answered it, but it's just a bunch of you know, a uh, bunch of idiots online that have a cycle, and they like to, they 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 love to go into retirement and then come right back out of retirement, and, you know, things of that nature. Yeah. They're a lot of them. Most of them are basically addicted to the internet too. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit, bitch. <laughs> you see your asshole. <laughs> what? <laughs> see, now I'm going to click that one too. <laughs> you see what she says to me when I'm always looking? <laughs> no, we're going to make me mad and make me say. Hotel parking? <laughs> oh, I got to get that. <laughs> yes. Jail without their a reason to throw you in jail. So if you stop, you now, but the funny thing is, after she went to jail, she was she was talking about how cops are pigs and da da da. da. I'm like, yo, I thought cops don't throw you in jail unless they have a reason to, Shani. Mm-hmm. You know, turning tricks and you know keeping drugs in your fucking. Oh, you posting it? Yeah, 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 yeah. If y'all want to see Vidal versus Hussey, she just posted a link. Um, fuck, I'll pin it. Give me one second. I'll pin it. That shit was hilarious. Anyway. Pockets and selling dope and fucking having guns in your pockets and playing game baners. Baners? Game baners. Game baners. Game baners. Who's bringing all the dope in this country? That's my question. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. How old yeah, they'll blame that, they'll blame that on the Mexicans, also. too, you know? Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Game baners. <laughs> you wouldn't be arrested, so don't blame the white man for putting you down for you getting arrested, especially when there's a lot of. Shannon, where did, did you legally, before you went to Colorado, where was you getting your weed from? Nine. A game baner? Yeah. <laughs> Good. Just a question. Just a question. You know, African American cops out there. Are you going to go and say it's the African American cops to. That are getting you arrested, or whoa, 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 are they just the Uncle Toms? Is that is that what it is? Uh, see, one thing you probably don't know, Shani, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of there's a cop culture, and if you don't go along with that culture, sometimes you can be targeted. So a lot of times, those black cops ain't no better, <laughs> you know, than the white cops. Sometimes they're worse. There was the whole um, thing on um, the cops out here that this guy had to this uh, cop <laughs> <Jabba> had, <Pena. laughs> had to go. And exposed that they were like 
um, they were targeting him because he wouldn't. He mm-hmm. would not fill the quotas that they told him he needed. There was to a fill. whole was the top out here. Did, a bunch of them actually. The yeah, they did a they did a news story about it. And it was a whole group of them, and they were all yeah. like people of color. Yeah, but it started with that one guy, and then they I guess when he started getting targeted, then he like gathered up a bunch of other people that were finally willing to talk about it. But that blue wall of silence is no joke. The motherfuckers was targeting them. Heavy when that happened. Yeah, my mom told me about that shit. She always talking about that boot. My mom always told me how to conduct myself with the police because she worked there, you know. And yeah. she told me, you know, you don't argue with them, you don't cuss them out, you do what the fuck they say because they'll kill your ass and get away with it, you know. Mm-hmm. And so I never, you know, I don't play around with police. But I mean, yeah, some, and I'm not saying all cops like that because there's there are some decent, there are some decent departments where they don't play that shit. You know what I'm saying? Um. Yeah. Uh, and there are some good cops out there. The problem is, is like a lot of cops police places they don't fucking live. And if they had put cops from that same neighborhood, it wouldn't be as bad. They, they've they've shown it. Like whenever they have cops that live in that community, it's yes, easier for them to, to police. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, Joe, of course, they still too? they still bust people head that need the head busted. Oh, but, for you know. sure. But oftentimes <laughs> they know who's who. They know, you know. Yeah, they just don't pull over no random person. You know, that's exactly. that's. That, oh, that he's cool. No worry, worry about that, that nigga on that corner like, over that there. You know, that guy shot the one. Um, what was his name? Damn, the one that had the the toy gun. And he got shot like in. While well, he was on the swing, yeah, I don't remember his name. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, they got him. That would have never happened with cops that were from that neighborhood. Well, let I me mean, not say never, but less likely because they would have known who that boy was. And mm-hmm. like, oh, you know, let me. Oh, and also they are usually of the same background, so there's yeah. Like, oh, that as well um but joe and it don't even joe, and it don't even matter the color too like if it's a white dude right. from that area he gonna treat everybody <laughs> nice you know he's gonna treat exactly. them like they um, should be treated oh yeah joe, the, the, the la sheriff's department is still wild out there so if you're in la watch <laughs> the yeah. sheriff's department. i've seen so many videos on them they are wild but what you are you saying um, something about joe no joe right? was this? asking if we were gonna watch the Fidel versus hussey uh, oh, not today, today no. but we will be getting to it. And Tamir Rice, thank you, PT Ham. And so, um, but but yeah, we'll be getting to it in the next few days. So, <laughs> wait, out. where'd you go? <laughs> <laughs> I kept cutting you off. She's like, let him tell me what you're gonna say. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I got food coming. I ain't got time. To, I, I got to knock this one you out. Know, and I thought, honestly, I really believed we squashed the whole race issue in the 90s. I didn't realize it had to be such a huge issue. And why is oh, it oh. such an issue? This, this this is the same woman that also uh, uh, said that, um, damn it, it just it, it evaded what I was going to say. No, no, I'm, I'm confusing it with somebody else. I was confusing it with somebody else that said in the... Uh, you know, it didn't. It, you know, saying nigga wasn't a big deal until the early 2000s. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. uh, wrong person. Oh, and uh, on that same video, I'm just gonna put it out there. Uh, witty, witty, uh, witty widow also says everybody says the n word. I was like, <laughs> I heard. I was like, what? When I heard, I was like, so witty over there dropping n bombs in the house and shit. I'd love to hear it. Let's go. Why is it your pathetic generation, most of you who whine about slavery, are fucking 20 years old? You motherfuckers have been so spoon fed of glorious, you know. Ugh. Ah, you, you, you fucking 20 year olds had it so fucking easy. You know, you don't know what life is without the internet and having to think for yourself. You don't know how it is to actually do anything because most of you motherfuckers don't work because you're too fucking lazy to work because you want to spend time on the internet all day. Bitch, I know you ain't talking about somebody being lazy. Not on the internet all day. Yeah. While she sits at home and plays video games all day, what? You have like 30 friends there and it gives you some form. Shani, all anybody you know that's friendly with you is from the internet. Stop. A validity. She's always going at younger people. She that. acts like she's sixty years old, bitch. You, she's like one year older than me, so she's probably like gonna be forty this year because I'm gonna be thirty nine this year. You're not that old, okay? You're not that old. Stop. You know, stop it. And she does the generation wars. I hate that. Yeah, like bitch, you're a millennial. Shut the fuck up. You know. Yes. The people you're talking about are from your generation. There's plenty of our uh, millennials that talk exactly the same. I don't know what you talk about, Shane. Yeah. 
But we need to quit this fucking blame the white people shit. Okay? Because the white man is over the slavery thing. Okay? No. You, you use that car to live. Uh, y'all niggas is free. We'll never do anything <laughs> the else. White, the white man is over the slavery thing. Just, yeah. Hey, you heard about Black Wall Street? Let's go burn it down. <laughs> a little too much. I think, I think the whole, you know, white people are evil because, you know, equal slavery type bullshit. I think that line of thinking and that guilt trip card has expired. Because a lot of white people now are giving get, are getting really fucking sick of being blamed for slavery when they would never do that to a human being. I am not. I refuse, and I suggest any white person out there refuse to take responsibility for something that happened two hundred years ago. Mm -hmm. And I suggest to the mature Ooh. black people is stop using that fucking stupid card because you guys your mother and father or your grandparents were never slaves mm. you shouldn't even use that oh yeah shani also said that the reason uh, that uh us making money off her streams uh she's technically a slave to us because because she can't make <laughs> really? money off her own shit. uh-huh mm -hmm. <laughs> excuse anymore <laughs> you know, you're, you're, you're from you're beyond the third and fourth generation. Don't you get it? Sorry, due process is expired, man. Sorry, someone, Stop blaming someone had white to say people it. For mm. slavery. That this is why I like watching these old videos of her just being just a piece of shit talking down to people. She had her little money, now she ain't got nothing. She's like, sorry guys. It's Someone over. Had to say it's it. over now. <laughs> we get over it. Yeah. You know, especially since now we know it was both the white person and black people that were responsible for slavery, and it's very no, unfair. No. Yeah, you don't remember? Uh, Vaughn said that uh, there, he got all the black slave masters' phone numbers and stuff like that. Yeah, but I'm saying like now, like now we know. Maybe some some folks that don't read and don't know history only now know what do you mean now we know people been do that yeah like i said that my grandfather didn't have fucking civil rights he could they was calling him boy and shit you know what i'm saying all that type of shit my great-grandfather they had to wash their p's and q's or get drug on them fucking behind the car or get hung yeah. and nobody would care you know what i'm saying so like, exactly what? it's literally why my mother hates the n-word because because her mother used to get called that when she was a kid. And they yeah. used to think that my grandmother was her nanny because, you know, a dark skin woman color could never yeah. have a baby that was lighter, lighter than her. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, it's... All right. Oh yeah, yeah. And, uh, Bastard Green lynching still happened today, yep. Yeah. So it was like... But yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, Shane. To just blame one side and not the other side, which is your people. I choose. I know it offends you, but I choose not to live ignorantly. <laughs> you couldn't even say ignorant, right? <laughs> I choose to not live with this ignorance. I choose you. She does. She she's decided not to live ignorantly while spouting ig nothing but ignorance. Like what? Like literally twenty hour, twenty hour, twenty minute ignorant rant, ignorant laced rant. Like what? White guilt because I have nothing to be guilty about. You know. Most, and I. Uh, I love smoke, Shan, <laughs> and the eviction, Shan. Karma, yep, total karma. Thank you, uh, Miss Moody. I can say this for surety: most of the people I have befriended in my life have been black. Okay. Hold on. I, I'm sorry. I don't have my, my thing on the right. You just have it on the same screen, so I could just hit shit quick. But uh, The lie detector determined that was a lie. Because <laughs> uh, if, if you have black friends, something would tell me you would have a lot more empathy than you do when you're talking about these things. Um, I'm I'm pretty sure that because if, if, if I was your black friend and I found out you was talking like that, we mean you would have words. You know what I'm saying? But not a only lot that, of words. like, some of what she's saying about, like, the opinions that supposedly black people have about white people she would know that that's bullshit if she actually talked to black people you know what i mean there goes another racist trope yeah i have a black friend y'all that's all the 
Got a parade that one black friend around or G Man, come here. Tell him not racist. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's oh, sitting there washing because he, he's a coon. He's sitting there washing a, a nut in the water. Like, what are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? Like, no. Oh. <laughs> he's a he's a coon, okay. And I don't care if he likes it or not. He's a coon. He he he's the same motherfucker that's out here. I remember he. I, I gotta find that video when he had her Trump shirt on, and then when he talked to me that one time, I, said, I bet you voted for Biden. Okay, coon. You know what I'm saying? Like, you you a coon? Shut the yeah. fuck up, cooning ass. So, I mean... But then when somebody's racist to him, he'll start crying about it. I don't know. I just think it's stupid for blaming someone who would, you know, save your life. You, you, oh! Also... Hold on, let me fix one thing. I'm going to leave it up. When are you guys ever, say. instead of doing the, you white people got us into slaves, when are you ever, instead of, you know, doing that, you congratulate certain white people for saving your fucking All right, so on uh, 1445, give me one second. I just want to refresh the page. Uh, oh, I knew that was going to happen. I fucking knew it. Good thing I paid attention to what the timestamp was. All right, Joda, have a good one. All right, later, Joda. Uh, I don't want nobody. I know we'll do it like that. Yeah. That's what I was gonna play. Now I played this the he black thing. I played it a few times, but I'm gonna keep us on the screen when we playing it, just in case, you know. Anyways, let me put that up white people for saving your fucking asses through the underground railroad when are you gonna start thinking the white man for that when are you gonna start realizing that not all black people are out to make you fucking slaves i think she meant white people i think i think most i think most black people know that like once no, again, she probably heard all, black I, I, people, I, all white people want them to be slaves. That's it. Shandy said it's confirmed. She must have read something about white privilege, and just, this is where she's going. That's off. exactly it's just what like, happened. Yeah, I think that's what it was. It's like what? Like, I mean, how is it? How how is it? How is how is it bad to acknowledge that you may have any? Like, I know I'm a man, and I there's certain privileges I have over women, even though I'm black. You know, what oh. I'm still a man. I understand those things. You know, what I'm saying like yeah, the power come like now power. Once you know, then I guess some people. I I don't know either because it's like. I don't understand being able or the problem with acknowledging that you may have some sort of privilege. I don't get that. And I, yeah, don't, I don't get, get the frustration that you have with the people who are not, who are disadvantaged in that case. You know, like mm. you're like, well, fuck you. You shouldn't say anything about it anyway. And it's like, well, okay. So you like, what's your issue with it? You know what I mean? But, mm. but, but you know what it is? It's like, Shani, let's be honest, like from like a societal perspective, Shani is less than mediocre, right? She's literally <laughs> yeah. the the you know the the worst that society has to offer her, oh, or have yeah. like people like that. And so the little bit of privilege that they may have, they're not gonna wanna forfeit that because then where would they end up at? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like I've said this before. I've seen it, I've said this before about a couple of these people. You know, they act all crazy, but they you know they'll be poor, but they be like, at least I ain't black. You know, I, I think I've heard one of them say that before. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, oh well, what you gonna do? Uh, he said, I'm, I'm new. Who's G Man? Oh, so G Man, hold on. G Man is her uh, former little black slave, as we like to call. It. He got really mad at me calling him G G slave. Um, uh, but yeah, they used to call him G slave because he's a little. Um, hold on, maybe I can. Uh, well, he 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 used to be their friend, and he would come online, and he would uh he would uh cape for them and shit like that until um uh they were living in when they got poor, and they was uh they couldn't afford the taxes on the house that um Rev Rev owned, so they sold it to him for a dollar, and they were th- thinking they were gonna live there for the rest of their life, and they started getting um they started getting crazy with him and shit, and he ended up kicking them out of the house, and they was calling them, went back to. Miss Miss uh, Progressive Shannon was calling them all kind of in bombs and stuff like that, so it was it was crazy. Um, hold on, let me play this. I got a text. And some of them would have hid you. Some of them would have given you asylum. 
I would have been part of that underground railroad. <laughs> I sure. guarantee it. <laughs> Definitely, man. Sure. Save me some G-Man. <laughs> no! She would have saved her some G-Man. How you gonna save a how you gonna save a dude that wants to work? Like he you wanna stay. He's like, no, I'm good, I'm good here at Massa Help. Massa nice to me. <laughs> Not save me some G Man. <laughs> uh, yes. Just stop. No, she did yes, she did. Uh, like, you wouldn't have had to save him. Crazy. You could have bought him and then freed him. Yeah, okay. you wouldn't have to bring them in the Underground Railroad if you was a white person who could afford to buy a black person at that time and you wanted to save them, you could have bought them and then gave them their freedom papers. Exactly, saved them, saved her some cheap. <laughs> I recall because his family's Jesus. from Jamaica, but hey, um, we might have That's some texting me huh? with the sugar plantations. I should ask him, yes. England, yes. England on Jamaica, yes. <laughs> fucking idiot. That's why Jamaicans always talk about going to fucking England all the time or Canada. I don't know if you ever talk to Jamaicans, but that's like next to Jamaica, their homeland is fucking England. You know what yeah. I'm saying? They always talk about fucking England. Yes, you dumb bitch. Oh mm. God. But you know black people. Get the fuck out of here. But anyway, <laughs> stop blaming people for things. <laughs> <clears throat> that happened over 200 years ago. It's not fair. And I am never going to take the race card and and put it in my pocket and be like, yes, I did that. You still actively call black people the hard ER. Shut the fuck up. You would call, that's what they were calling G-Man when he wasn't doing what they wanted. She was calling him uh, 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 N-word, hard ER. She still does this. She's, you're still a racist cunt. So shut the fuck up. I'll be like, I'm oh Irish, bitch. I was a slave too. You was a slave. You, yeah, so because all Irish people were slaves too, huh? Right. Should I go and constantly remind England they're rapey assholes who pillaged my people? No, because you're not. You there's no lasting effects on your people from it. You dumb bitch. At one point, like I said before, at some point. Caucasian people, no matter what country you're from, just homogenize in this country and they just call each other each other white oh, people. And fun fact, that had a lot to do with the fact that um there was some sort of like um camaraderie between slaves and indentured servants and to widen that gap and create a sort of a hierarchy, they created slave catchers. And that's why there was a lot of Irish people that did that. And mm-hmm. so yeah. And that also kind of where our police kind of come from. Exactly. Sleep. If you ever noticed, there's a lot of uh, policemen that, that were um, a lot of Irish people in the police force. Right? At least they That's why I used to call it the paddy wagon. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, but okay, Shane, keep telling us about how your people were pillaged. Yeah. yeah. Should I be constantly in a feud with England? Should should Ireland just pelt fucking leprechauns at England? And you're not Irish. Uh, you have uh, uh, maybe of Irish descent, descent, but you're an American now. <laughs> like, say, like how many generations of Americans have been here, Shani? Like, stop. Right. Fuck your fucking muffins. I, I mean, ooh. English muffins are delicious. They're actually pretty good. Not my favorite. Yeah. Good, they're good. No, yeah, I'd, rather, I'd rather eat a bagel. Ireland yeah. took the mature route, said, fuck you, you fucking limeys. Oh, not the accent. And we moved the fuck on. What are you talking about, man? You know that this- moved the fuck on. You okay. know, you, what's the name of that? What's the name of that Ireland terrorist group is still around? <laughs> like, <laughs> they're not fond of England to this day still. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you talking about? And the ones that came over and assimilated and just became Americans eventually got to uh, take, uh, what was it? They had, they, they, they reaped the benefits of, of being um, European, you know, or European. Yeah. Said, like, I mean, what are you talking but it's about? But also like, imagine that, the privilege of being able to move on. Like, let's say, you know, you can make that argument. Oh, we just moved on after we came out from indentured servitude and blah, 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 right? Uh, the like, IRA, well, you, yeah. you had the privilege of doing that. 
You had mm-hmm. the privilege of being able to homogenize into society or assimilate into society. Um, after slavery was abolished, you had a group of people who had no education and had no way to um, advance the society. And then they introduced something called Jim Crow laws, which mm-hmm. helped to further the 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 disadvantage in oh, and redlining society. and all that redlining that oh i'm gonna move this place because there's more job opportunities not today bitch you ain't moving over here <laughs> not today blackie get, get back over there <laughs> get your ass over there to the city the inner city that a lot of you guys don't like that's why there's a lot of us in these places but you mm-hmm. know whatever what do i know what and, then, and and also and then if, if black and brown people did move into a place they have a thing called white flights where all the white people just oh, evacuate yeah. from and the all areas. The white people just leave. And yeah. then, like, oh, too many niggers. Uh oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> schools, are not getting, <laughs> schools are not getting funded because property taxes go down. Yeah, right. yeah. I know. I mean, what, yeah, we, so but but tell us more how to, to pull right. up our bootstraps and fix things. Exactly. Especially when your schools uh yeah, funding come from property taxes. Right. Oh dear! What what happened, Jonathan? There's niggas across the street. <laughs> it's time to sell the house, dear. Yes. That's why I don't. That's why I don't play. Like I, I just keep to myself, man. I just, I, I don't get me wrong. I've, I've had neighbors. They oh hi to the neighbor. I'm like, hey, how you doing? I don't fuck with them. Leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be that black guy to stay in his motherfucking house. I ain't gonna be out there barbecuing and doing all that shit. Leave me alone. You know. <laughs> well, nobody knocking on my door. I had one time in an apartment. I guess there was some ladies across the hall, and they seen me. I guess one like, must have said I was cute or something, and was like, "He not say hi to nobody." I'm like, <laughs> "Just let him do it." I'm like, "We didn't spend two hundred years whining. It happened. We fucking moved the fuck on, okay?" Mm. And I'll tell you, our the Irish not. got treated a hell of a lot worse than you freaking slaves. Oh, really? <laughs> what? The, I didn't know that. I, hey, shout out to all my Irish folks out there. I didn't know y'all had it worse yeah. than us. Okay, damn. Who are black? Okay. okay, okay, okay. Your people just sold you into slavery. Okay, we were forced into slavery as sex slaves. What? Where do you think all these light skinned niggas come from? What are you talking about? I have European in my DNA. You dumb bitch. You think they was like, okay, master slay it. Like, what the fuck are you talking about, <laughs> dummy? Like the you we they was raping us, having kids with us. They they was uh, probably having us fighting pits, uh, branding us, castrating us, cutting feet. They was doing all kinds of fucked up shit. What are you talking about? And if you did something, they tied to a tree and whip your ass. What are you I talking was about? That there was this, there was this theory that you can basically like um, put like fear, like through a mother's um, experience, that child can develop a certain fear, right? So mm-hmm. slave masters would basically line up a bunch of pregnant women and choose one randomly and gut her in front of everybody else. What? To create, I was reading something like that, and correct me if I'm wrong, folks, but I was reading it and I was like, "What the fuck?" Up. And it was a way to basically keep slaves afraid that's why of course and all this other shit was a thing of course yeah that that like you keep them in fear so they don't rise up because exactly. there's way more of them than it was you and those kids and... would be born with that fear that's that was a thought process uh oof. Right. I'm pretty sure they didn't. I don't think that's how that works. But I'm pretty sure everybody else was like, y'all better shut up. Bro. They cut your stomach open. You know, like oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> Wives and husbands were torn apart because you think that didn't happen when they decided to sell some guy like fuck your wife and kids you know what I'm saying like I'm a seller right. you know like what some white guy mm-hmm. wanted to wife another wife and Ray turn just destroyed the DNA li- DNA line of my beautiful Irish race but we got the fuck over it but since you're part Cherokee you shouldn't be the fuck over it right like you're part Cherokee uh, you know. Uh, Natives have still got a raw deal in this country too. Oh, yeah, very yeah. raw deal. Big you know, there's still yeah, like yeah. a problem with missing native girls and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, we got over it. That's why. That's why you don't hear it so it. much in history about. Because it's not affecting you anymore, idiot. Slaves, because Jesus Christ, like this is why I don't like talking about this stuff, man. Yeah, but me too. Say, it gets me irritated, but yeah, it makes you happens. mad. It just gets you yeah. mad. But it's like, duh, I, 
I'm not. A, I ain't got no. I, you know, I, I think I got a misdemeanor one time. Got got that taken care of. Um, but I've never been to prison. I ain't got no mug shots. Um, not a felon. You know what I'm trying to say? I got a. I got a. I got a decent. I got an okay job. I, mean, I ain't rich, but at the same time, I don't really want for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Nice living in a nice, decent place. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So I, I'm. You know I'm. I, you know, I I didn't I'm not a statistic. That's all I'm trying to say. Right. And I'm happy about that. I don't sit there and just curse the white man for everything, but it just this this shit here is just pure ignorance. It's terrible. Yeah. And it's sad that a nice now I won't say a nice one, but it's it's bad that a, a part of this country people still think like this. It's really sad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's we don't make it out. a big fucking deal. Cause we wanna move on from atrocity. We don't wanna keep it instilled in our mind, keeping us down. Keep it up, I mean, you, could, you maybe maybe you could use the Irish and how we handle the situation. You know, maybe 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 you should handle it a little bit like the Irish. Oh, the thing. Irish doesn't. Or you Actually, could yeah, just yeah, continue yeah. to whine and blame white people over something that never <laughs> happened to you. <laughs> I almost said something about Lucky Charms, but that's good. <laughs> Why you sit there in your expensive suit that you got? Because you work your ass off by u- utilizing the programs that white man put together to help you get out of the fucking project. But yet, the white people puts you down even though it was a white person who created these these programs to get you out of the projects. You just have to work, okay? White people... Or oh, just work. <laughs> just yeah. Work. Well, whenever you so ask for money work. from now on, Shani, so much to send this clip to you. To you should just work. Just well, like hand you things, okay? Like they're handing you money, okay? Mm-hmm. This is why we like watching. And you know what? Ask G man. I paid my fucking reparations. She gave him a house, which they took back, and then gave him back for a dollar. Peace, Maranatha. Ooh, you gotta love Shannon. You gotta love Shannon. All right, y'all. My food is here, so I'm have to, I'm about to eat. Thank you for coming. Before you go, please like hit that like button if you're new. Make sure you sub. Uh, if you're if you have already so hit that that uh, notification bell. Make sure you set it all so you get all the things. Thank you for everybody that donated today and all the uh, happy Father's Day wishes. And uh, I don't know, but we'll probably do another Cyrax coming up this week uh, sometime soon. And then Nova, obviously, we're going to be on Smoke yeah. Arena uh, watching Videl and Hussey yell at each other. And that's going <laughs> to be fun. <laughs> Yay! That was gonna be so much fun. <laughs> all right, y'all. All right, I'll see y'all, y'all later. Yeah, have a good one. Peace. Some might say opening up a dance studio might be a better move. Say, what are you going to do? <laughs> Borrow one of his dancers' outfit, a tutu and the slippers, prance around the stage doing pirouettes. I asked him where he's going. He tell me where he been. Bam! Bam! A moment that will be ever remembered. I I I I I I, I am an Oreo cookie. Cookie, cookie. Oreo cookie. White on the inside, black on the outside. Yeah, yeah, outside. Isn't that amazing? Amazing, amazing? At one time in life, I was black on the inside and black on the outside. Yeah, outside. Hey, Joe. He black. He black. I don't know. He black. I am not African American. I don't have an afro. Uh 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 uh. Amerifro. Amerifro. There are no African drums beating in my chest. The American good is playing in my heart. Born on a plantation in Alabama. Grew up under the Jim Crow laws. Worked the fields. Worked the plantation. Black. As the ace of space, but 100% American. Now I'm white on the inside. Hey, yo. He black. He black. It's amazing. He black. He black. He black. He black. I'm black and slow. I don't know. He black. Hey, yo. He black. He black. I don't know. He black. Yeah. That dude's like a hardcore like Trump supporter. Yeah. <laughs> that guy is yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, that's a good that was a good song. I love that one. Yep. Yeah.
Um, I think I've played it before. He hasn't done anything, so it's whatever. But all right, y'all. Later. We just wait. You know, we gotta wait the time to y'all. Let me let me check it on the phone. Um, he black. Yeah, because this one got like a few seconds, like thirty seconds. I think it is. Oh yeah, we're talking. All right, y'all. Bye. Later, y'all. Stupid ass thing. <laughs>